for you. We have started, Walter. So whatever you're doing, okay. Oh, jazz hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Walter is doing it like you know. Walter is protesting because of the title right now. We're uh, live. I hope you got your big girl panties on, cause it's Friday. The fri the the panties that say Friday on top, and then big girl. Those are the ones you got to put on. There we're go. here, and we're gonna make the noise. Those panties trouble. are laced, by the way. Yeah, absolutely. I hope I actually like. Uh, I don't know if I even did this properly. Hopefully, I, hopefully we've got this all started up, and there's that no. That was quick, man. I yeah, just, there was. I just finished chowing down on some Chinese food, just. To, <laughs> so no one will complain about you. <laughs> eating online, eating on the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so let me go. Let me go through my on air tonight. Tonight, here's here. Let me read. Let me read what our thing is tonight. We are talking all things Britain. All things Britain. Really. <laughs> With our resident Anglophile and expert of Britannia, Walter Keller. <laughs> this could get real boring. <laughs> and he's luberlicious, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that, all that. It's really like a free for all. Lola said it's going to be a free for all Friday. Of course, let's let's um let's go. Let's let's do um. Did you just crack your neck? I did. Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> Dang! I can't believe the mic picked that up. <laughs> Baby face. There he goes. <laughs> Babyface P is here. Hello. Ready to bring trouble. Oh, do, you, do you you know what, Babyface P, how many patches do I give you? I forgot, man. Every uh, time I see you, I'm giving you patches. I think I only have two of your patches, and one is not on my desk right now. You never have the patches on the hat. Well, I don't know where the other one is. I know he's <laughs> one in my car. Yeah, we can't we cannot get enough patches for Babyface, but there you go, Babyface. What's up? I still need one of the rooster patches. I know, man. I, hey, I Donald don't... Patrick got of the uh, Trump chicken. I want that as a big uh, vinyl about sticker this? that That's I can it? stick on the hood of my car. You don't have a Trump patch either? No. I, oh. What? No, I don't have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got understand. one when Walter sent me the 50 cal. Yeah. Oh, so there you go. You got a Trump patch, but Babyface has no Trump patch. So we are, we are negligent. We have not been taking care of our baby. We have pretty much left him in the car, the boiling hot, <laughs> on a summer's day. So what's up? What's up? What's Until up? He pulls out his crank and shoots the windows out. That's right. What's up with you, Patrick? What's going on, man? Uh, not much. Not much going on. Yeah. I got I got stacks on stacks on stacks for Lola. Ooh. What? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, face has money. <laughs> I was gonna write her a check, and then I oh. sold. I sold an optic. No, I'll take money because that way I sold an optic. I sold one of my optics, and so this is paying for this. Oh, awesome! Oh, there you go. Wait a minute! Right. How did you get it before you paid for it? Um, you know, oh. testing it. You know, because he, he works for the Hank Strange situation. Uh, you know, he works money for the Hank Strange. <laughs> okay, so okay, that's Babyface. He's got some stuff he's going to talk about. He's got some guns there, and then right next to Babyface, the dude who does have a Trump rooster patch. There you go, Mr. Walter Keller. Anglophile, expert of the Brittany. Mm. He's got an AK. AK of evolution right here. Very nice. Like so we, we're going to talk about that. That actually looks pretty sexy, man. That yeah. looks Did really you powerful. just mount that uh, butt stock on there? Go sideways, Walter, so people can actually see this thing. Yeah, there and you go. Come back, a, come back a little bit. Back up, back up. This stock came yeah. off of a uh, SIG MCX. It's it's SIG's folding stock, and it, and it attaches with Picatinny rail. Well, the normal AK doesn't have any Picatinny rail in the back. So today I was I was contemplating putting a folding stock on this a, a AK folding stock a underfolder, and I had seen some buddy some other people put this stock on an AK before, and I looked down on my desk and I just happened to have a chunk of steel Picatinny rail sitting there. Ooh. I looked over on the shelf and there was that SIG stock saying, mount me, baby, mount me. <laughs> so, Did you have your lube? Oh, Did you I was have your ran COP at that moment. I, I can't. Oh, you know what? I did lube this down with some COP before I left the shop today. So, yeah, um, nice. I, so gave it, got, I, gave it, I gave it, I gave it a Walt Keller cleaning. I basically just squirted the oil down the barrel and down the gas tube and it's like good to go. So. Sweet. Very cool. Okay, so we're going to talk about that a little bit more. Okay. Walter's going to have that and probably some other things. And right next to Walter is that gentleman right there, Tyvin from the Tyvin Show. 
Hey, everybody. By the way, if you guys just missed it, I did an interview on Hank. It's on my channel. So after the podcast, if you want to check it out, you can find the history about Hank Strange. There you go. Awesome. Thanks for doing that. And make sure you put on your lower third, babyface. I don't think you oh, have yours yeah. on either. So make sure you guys put on your lower third so oh, people can uh, see who, who right. you are. I don't know uh, how to do that, but I'll work on it. Uh, you, you don't know how to do that, Timon. I'm new to Google Hangouts with oh, uh, okay. so, on the left hand. Yeah. Hangout toolbox. Hangout yeah. toolbox. <laughs> yeah, so okay. there you go. And uh, let me take this moment while you guys are doing all that stuff. I want to thank everyone who's watching us right now. We've got lots of folks watching us. We've got folks in the chat. Thanks for waiting. I know we're starting a little late today. So thanks for waiting and hanging out with us. I want to invite everyone watching to click the thumbs up. Click it. Click that thumbs up. Uh, we really appreciate that. Make sure you share that we're doing this video on your social medias with friends and family. And of course, make sure you're subscribed. When you subscribe, you have to make sure you click that uh, bell so that you get a, the announcement of when we go live and then you can join us and you can hang out with us. I'm going to do the roll call here. So anyone who wants to be included in the roll call, make sure you hit me up. Lola just gave me something. The Archangel. Uh, Lawrence Lerwick changed his name, so now he's the Archangel. There you go. Everybody better respect his authority. <laughs> he has changed his name. <laughs> so we're going to call him the Archangel from now on. <laughs> that is not going to get confusing for me, I guess. <laughs> no, <never. laughs> we also have Chris B, Joe259, Boss Hog, Wardex, Razor JB, Chris Bullis, Highway Run 77, Mr. Some Guns, Tango Hunter, 904 Outdoors, our buddy Steve from 904 Outdoors. Um, is it Miko Jupiter? Uh, Rod to, to see me. So that's uh, that's our friend Rod. TJ Blaze, if I mixed you, if I missed you, <laughs> let me know. Don't be and mad. I, yeah, I think it was Micro Jupiter 78. So there you go. Load up 480. Chris Bullis, the Tyvin Show, wants, he wants to get like another one. Al Chervik says, <laughs> in the house. Um, Al Chervik says, hey, guys, need an opinion. I took a flyer and bought an SA XDM compact 3.8 inch 40 from PSA for $299. Any good opinions, please welcome. So there you go. Everyone can get you guys can give your opinion of that. Um, like I said, make sure you hit that like button. That's how we get people to know that we're doing this show. Of course, you know, this is the Who Moved My Freedom podcast brought to you by Big Daddy Guns. Big Daddy. We want, we want to thank Big Daddy Guns as well as our other sponsors. You know, that this, this, you know, you got Big Daddy Guns and then you have the big headed one, this dude right here, Walter Keller. Safety the crazy firearms. Yeah, they sponsor us. <laughs> Yeah, you got to give me a class about how to do all this. As, as well as Rand CLP. You know, where's my Rand CLP? Yeah. Need to, uh, where, you know what, Babyface, you got the Rand CLP? I'm huffing at the end of this barrel, man. I oh, definitely man. Got. <laughs> 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 we have to. I, where is the Rand CLP in this place? Oh, okay. it smells uh, good too. Andrew's Custom Leather. And uh, you know what? I want to give a quick shout out here at the beginning of this video to everyone who supports us on Patreon. That is much needed. Much appreciated. Love those people who support us on Patreon. So there you go. If there's other people I missed in the roll call, just let me know and I will shout you out at some point. Let us know what questions you have, uh, what questions you have for Walter, like the history of England, you know, the King Arthur legends. Looks like uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin Dixon's right. checking in too. Oh, NLC Firearms. Okay, so what's he doing there? He should be on air with us. But he's telling me I'm so cool. That's what it is. Yeah. It? Oh, oh, he's telling you that you're so cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kevin. Kevin wants a war with Tyvin. Kevin and Tyvin have some kind of war going on. Oh, so I yeah. hope everyone, I hope everyone in this panel has shared this video by now on social media. I'm gonna go to do that. I'm gonna go and share it right now on social oh, media that we're doing this. So I was Chinese, I was feeding my face. Right. So, baby face, I think I'm gonna start with you, man. Um, you got something in the mail. It's always nice when you get a gun oh. in the mail. But this is a gun you already had, right? There it is. Oh, it doesn't it's quite bad. fit. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, it don't fall. Don't fall. They fix. They fix the buttstock. They put a new. Uh, well, I gotta actually gotta go look at the paper to see what they actually did. I'm guessing they got a, I got a whole new cheek right, uh, cheek rest and yeah. back butt. Is it stock. OD? Yeah, it's OD yep, green. It's OD. But Babyface's uh, lighting is weird. It's too dark. You can't see it. Yeah. But um, 
they use some sort of weird oil. And I don't know what it's, I've smelled it before. It doesn't smell like typical, like, industrial oil. It's not that's, KY, that's, his and hers mixed together uh, for it could, long it could be. No, that's it a was, special formulation. My RFC's pleasure. <laughs> that's a special no. Keltec formulation. Well, yeah, it came back, and um, I, I got it in the mail this afternoon, so I haven't I haven't had a chance to take it. Into Super glad. Yeah, well, I don't know well, if any, does anyone out there know what lubrication Keltec uses? Because I don't think it's Slip 2000. It has a funk to it. What do you yeah. use, Walter, when you ship your guns? You use a, a product on yours. Oh dear! You're gonna put you're gonna put me in you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna put me on the spot, aren't you, Tad? He yeah, should yeah, be yeah. using Rand COP. That's yeah. about what he better say right now. He better say Rand COP. I I use a, a, a oh we muted Walter. He can't oh, talk. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I use a variety of products actually. So he uses a special Walter juice. <laughs> oh <laughs> juice. <laughs> oh man, juice! You should make that Walter and sell that. Walter, well, I know if you buy an engine from like Jasper or Jegs or Summit, um, they ship your motor and it's in a big plastic bag and then they spray that special protectant down. Right. And I noticed like a lot of gun manufacturers will use the same thing um, to keep yeah. the moisture out and to keep it lubricated so it doesn't. For any environment during shipping process. Yeah, you I mean you, you want to oil down the parkerizing because it soaks that up and protects you know, when when it's got oil can, on it. So. You can also see that they uh, possibly test fired it. I would you, think they would. Yeah. You can yeah, see a absolutely. spot where there's like a cheek. So this the the top metal was oiled, and then there's a spot where somebody put their cheek on it. Oh. <laughs> it's oh. not. <laughs> well, at least they test fired it to make sure it's not gonna blow up again because yeah, somebody else thing. don't know how to adjust a gas <laughs> uh, regulator. Oh, did yeah, I say that out? I'm sorry. Give it a try tomorrow. <laughs> no, so um, I think the guy who usually does the um, RFB stuff at Caltech that would be that would be should I should I even talk about Andrew? That's Andrew that does that. Shout so, out to Andrew, dude. Yeah, shout out to Andrew. He's a really good dude. Uh, you know, been a, we've been friends for a long time. He's a good guy, very intelligent guy. You know, there's lots of good folks over there at Caltech. So. They took he, care of you, right? They totally took care of me. Yeah, that was awesome. It was Did you, go $16, ahead. $16 and return shipping. That was it. Yeah, that's it. So you just pay for shipping. They didn't charge you anything. And did they chastise you for blowing up? The, thing? Uh, the guy on the phone didn't, but uh, he probably should have. Do you want to tell people what you did? Yeah, I blew up a Caltech. How? <laughs> uh, I, put, I put this on it. Shame, I, I put shame, this on it and, uh, shame. I, uh... <laughs> Neglect, right, Kevin, go neglect easy to change the uh, the regulator settings on the gas system, and uh, it broke. Actually, I can show you what I was talking about that one time. Let me pull it back up real quick. So it broke on the back back here. This the little uh, the the back piece is only held on by these three little tabs: one there, one on top, and one on the other side. And I bent the tabs on the inside, so this this whole thing popped off the back. Do those three little tabs hold on the whole back part of the buttstock? It's that plus, um, I think the bolts down here might hold it in as well. Um, okay. But that is what attaches to the cheek, cheek well. So, okay. yeah, uh, and I, I guess I hit it hard enough with the two or three rounds of 308 without uh, gas regulation, and it, uh, it bent those little tabs out. Yeah, now and it the, didn't. And the whole thing was like, boom. It didn't do that <laughs> immediately, right? So how much shooting? Uh, it took five or six rounds. Five or six rounds, yeah. Yeah, yeah. with, it, so with it way over gassed. Yeah, so. and so everything's probably good. I don't know. I mean, I don't that know if they've awesome. made any upgrades to the RFB, but I'm sure they went through the whole gun. That's why you smell the oil. They probably went through, cleaned it, and, you know. Yeah, this thing was already Gen 2 because um, I think when you said it back, you got the Gen 2 gas system put in, so it's still the Gen 2 gas. Mm -hmm. Um I don't know if they've really changed anything on the RFBs. I think Can you adjust a gas block by a finger on there, or do you have to have a, oh, yeah. a bolt or a screw or a driver nope, or something to slide through? This piece right here, and you press. Okay, so is it clockwise to turn the gas up? or uh, clockwise so from, to turn the gas up? From shooting, I'm not knowledgeable. That's why I was asking. From shooting to turn it to suppressor, you go clockwise, which bleeds off more gas, and you go counterclockwise to give it more to uh, – I guess add more gas to the system if you have if you're running it dirty or something. Now, do you have a breakdown for different type of suppressors? Does it matter the length of the suppressor on how much you gas you give it? You're supposed to. So I believe what you're supposed to do is uh, start wide open and then work it down until it functions and then leave it at that. 
Um, and it's, oh, okay. a, it's a click system, so like uh, the standard that I shoot it at is like twelve clicks from completely closed. Okay. Um, and then, so what I what I need to do next time we take it tomorrow when we go and shoot it is take it and go fully open with it until it just clicks like that, and then put the suppressor on and shoot it until it uh, until it cycles correctly. Okay. I'm just not knowledgeable. That's why I was asking. Yeah. So you've never have you ever shot a bullpup? Ivan? No, sir. Um, was okay. never privileged when I right right when I got out of the army, they were starting to bring them into some of the units um, to be tested. Hey, Tavin, I just about crack. I was just going to crack on you real bad. When you got out of the army, they were just they were just getting rid of the O three A threes, right? That's <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's a, wow, Walter, oh, Walter, oh, giving oh, out the low. Oh, that's that's, that's what they, I that's feel what they old do now. <laughs> that, uh, that's what they do to me all the time. So I had to. Pass <laughs> yeah. Walter's no, Walter, you're man. not that much older than me, so just no. FYI. Yeah, uh, we can have that debate of who's the oldest on the show. It's definitely me. Definitely. 62. Yeah. <laughs> Not you. You're how old, Walter? No, no, 1962. Oh, oh. you're 62. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm 72, so you got 10 years on me. Right. I knew that already. Yeah. Okay. So what what you got, Tyvin? Uh, I'll be 40. Oh, man, I got to think about it. I'll be 46 in uh, two weeks. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. So you guys, you and Hank, you and Hank are on the same plane. Yeah. And Babyface, yeah. he's like from uh, 1999. Oh God, no! That would make <laughs> that would make me hate my son. Come on, you, you know. All seriousness, I got to give uh, Walter props because yeah, he's the elder, but he doesn't have any gray hair that I can see. Not much. Not he much. don't have much. He don't have much. Well, Just, yeah. That's let me not start. I didn't want to go that far. <laughs> not much. Not well. Well, and not on my head. It starts right here on the sideburns and stuff, you know. Yeah, and, just, and just then, a couple. It's just starting. But having lighter color hair, you can hide it for a long, lot longer. Than, you know. <laughs> it's that sun and the fun in Florida down there. He's you know, saving all that gray hair. Look at Hank. He's trying to hide it. Already. That's a big noggin. That's a big noggin. Walter's got the big noggin. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. My son's got even a bigger one than me. So <laughs> yeah. That's the Kello brand. That's the Kello brand. You know, poor Peggy. She's Not a saint. Poor Peggy. Poor Peggy. They're nine pound babies. They just. <laughs> <laughs> She's a saint. <laughs> but even having Keller babies, <laughs> she should yeah. get an, uh, uh, an award, right? Yeah. I, I, I always see these pictures of TV. These people who have their newborns and I'm like, man. I was like twice that size when it came out. You know, it's like. <laughs> Anna Ford says, I'm 85, just a kid. I think the babies are coming in like lighter weight nowadays. Well. I don't know if it that's like a good thing, bad thing, or whatever, but the babies are coming in. in hey, since yeah. you said the baby thing, did you see where the two nurses were, had the little baby up in there and uh, where they, you have the birth of the baby and then they put the baby over in a separate room and these two, uh, was it Air Force or Marine nurses? We're having a baby and making him dance up and down. They shot yeah. a video. That was a while ago, wasn't it? Um, yeah, a couple of weeks, week ago or so. Maybe a week. Um, they did one. They did some pictures with them giving the baby the finger. All kinds of weird, crazy now, stuff. Now they <laughs> took them. They took them out of that department, but they're still working in that hospital, just not with babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome! <laughs> I don't think anyone wants hospital to see those people. Hospital workers fired. For you, well, they're military. You really can't fire them. You can change their position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is. They, they need to. They need this. They need some. Find some other amusement. That's what it is. Besides the babies, you know. Yeah. And then I think it was yesterday, the day before, uh, there was a kindergartner. He went into class, and the teacher kept telling him, "Take your backpack off." And he was like, "No." They you know, kept pushing him, take your backpack off. And finally, the kid said, no, I'm not taking my backpack off. I got a bomb in it. Oh, and they, <laughs> they suspended the kid for one day, made his parents come in, and then they charged the kid with uh, oh, terrorist act. Terrorist. Yeah. And it's permanently on his record now as a five-year-old in kindergarten. Yeah, I mean, a five-year-old, does he even know what, what a bomb is? Does he know the definition of a bomb? No. <laughs> no. You yeah. know. That's that a, was on the news. That shows you how silly the school people are. Though. Yeah. Oh, I mean, man. Hey, you on, go like a... this in school now. Just yeah, point your wow. finger. Oh, you're I, suspended I, for three days. I brought a I brought a rifle grenade round to to elementary school for show and tell. 
<laughs> Those were so uh, see back in nineteen forty you know, back in nineteen forty two you could do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 there's a world <laughs> turn of the century. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you could, that, that was no big deal. In today's oh, world, in the well, modern age. Yeah. Hey, you gotta understand. That's how you defended against dinosaurs. Yes, wow. <laughs> exactly. Good one, baby. Man, baby. You walked into that one. I, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Just burn that one in. Yeah, you know what? That's really stupid, man. I mean, what what does a five year old? I don't think a five year old even knows what a bomb is. He doesn't know what a terrorist is. You know, that's just He's still really playing with stupid. his GI Joe Darby ball or baby doll or whatever out in the back, man. He's still having yeah. fun. He's a kid. He's got a And can I say something? They probably did all that because it was a boy. They're trying to, like, destroy all men. That's what I think. Starting young, destroying young. They can't talk about anything. Yeah. I mean, seriously, what it, what threat does a five-year-old pose to you? Now, That's I know some five-year-olds that pretty much are terrorists. They are the demon spawn. <laughs> are terrorists. Yeah. yeah, they are. They are Damien. <laughs> they need to have the human foot up their ass. That's what they need to What's have. The, Thank you, Walter. <laughs> yeah. They need That'll, a kiwi that, injection. One, one large implement, one large uh, size 11 in the lower spinal column. And that'll, that'll reboot the whole computer. <laughs> yeah, um, I am. You know, listen, I'm all for capital punishment in the school and getting spankings. But the five, but that, but a five, that five year old doesn't deserve that for talking about the bomb stuff. No, 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 yeah, no, that's, no. That's a, that's that's not, a reaction you know. to being pushed. You know, now he, he, yeah, I don't know why he didn't want it to. You know, there has to be some reason why it he didn't want to take, take it off. off. Yeah, it was his. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, hey, it all get it all gets complicated, but still yeah, you don't, I don't, you, don't think, the, you don't know the dynamic between the kid and the teacher either, so yeah. I, well, yeah who knows yeah. what's going on there. So, I know pe folks are putting in questions and stuff like that. Um I think uh what was this question I saw that Rod Mills um asked, will I be Hank, will you finally be on the Gun Collective panel at 2018 NRA? <laughs> oh, good question. Uh I don't I doubt it, <laughs> but who knows? You never know. I have no clue. I am not in charge of that and don't know anything about it. So that's up to you're going to have to ask the folks that do that whether or not I will be on that panel. But, you know, hey, that's what that's why we have this panel going so that we can uh, yeah, talk about all that that sure. good stuff. Uh, 2018 NRA is actually going to be fun, right? Hey, Babyface, you coming? Oh, yeah, totally. Well, I don't know if I have tables yet. I, I, I called them again the other day, and they're like, every time I call them, it's like, well, we're going to do that in two weeks. We're going to do this in a few weeks. We're going to do this in a few weeks. And I'm like, oh, really? Okay, well. Uh, in a raise in what, Atlanta? Uh, yeah. No, it's gonna, it's Dallas. Dallas. It's going to be in Dallas. Oh, yeah, I'd love to go if we can. Yeah, it's going to be in Dallas. Uh, Walter, you know what? The NRA is like that. They really don't put that together until like what they, maybe um, a month before uh, they do it. That's in like so. March of next year, right? It's in um, um, May. May. Is it May? May. May. Yeah, let's, uh, as long as we plan it out, I'm, I would love to go. It would be great. Yeah, it will be awesome. And you can be a booth model in the Safety Harbor uh, Firearms booth. Yeah. I'll um, take my shirt off. You have to wear a Speedo. Oh, no, no, when no. It, banana hand. <laughs> <laughs> when it's on the man. It's man called, thong. It's called hey, a banana hand. Man thong. Not a Speedo. Man thong. Uh, can I get one of those banana hammocks? It's like the elephant with the ears in the trunk. Uh, I got one, and let me tell you what, dude, they're fun. <laughs> oh God, I don't know if Hey, hey I wear mine proudly, not. dude. I live out in the country. I can go right out back in my man thong, have my bonfire with my wife, drink some beer. I dance around the campfire, man. You know, most guys like to watch their ladies walk around in the living room naked or whatever while the guy's watching football. Not me, dude. My old lady watches football. I run around in an apron naked. Yeah, oh, you what? know, Walter, uh, Tyvin, that was way too much information. <laughs> no, you're missing out on fun, man. <laughs> Things we don't need to know about Tyvin. <laughs> you just uh, ruined it, man. You just ruined no, it. <laughs> that's how you get the, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, extra credit for your man card. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, Rod, oh, you know why Rod was asking about that? Because he snuck into the thing with us. That's why. He was like, oh, it was good sneaking in with you guys. Well, you know, if you see me, I might be able to sneak you in. It was like the, the line was wrapped around. Where, to get into that, that panel? Yeah. You didn't go to that. It was it was a ton of people, man. It was, yeah. It was, no one expected that. That was the first time they did it, so. Hey, um, quick, quick, quick gun porn. Ooh. Quick Hold gun. on. Let me lock it on you. What, what that is that? Dan? Quick, Dan quick, gun porn. Oh, you missed it. Do it again. There you go. All the way over, nice and slow. Here's a close up. 
Stop being a banana hammock, tease. There we and go. Just show the gun. All right. This is my this is my favorite toy of the of the day. The this is my uh, Ruger 357. Oh, Ruger, okay. 357 Magnum. Oh, oh. Walter's usually oh, Walter always breaks up the first yeah. gun, so I wanted to be second. There's a the python for you. Wow, Ooh. baby face nice. showing the python. <laughs> that is a shocker. Always got the python. <laughs> hey, the uh, the podcast you did yesterday um, with the gentleman, what wine? Win? Win. Uh huh. Win. Uh, dude, I am seriously thinking about sending this one down or sending my nine millimeter Beretta down and having done everything that I did in the research. That looks like some awesome stuff. It is. It is, man. Absolutely. Get in touch with him. Tell him you, you know, you, you were here on the show. You heard about him and do some yes. stuff. I don't know if you're going to do that crazy uh, gold, uh, rose gold gun. That gold stuff sounds expensive. They got, yeah, I would, you yeah. Know. Man. I, I mean, like unless you're one. a real baller. Uh, well, I, you know, not, not quite that much, but I like the one where he had, it had the bluing, like it was underneath the ocean, or if you heat yeah. metal up too much, yeah, yeah, yeah. bluish purple spotted. I really like that. No, that was very that's, nice. That's like called case that case hardening look. Yep, color case yeah. hardening. Yeah, Chris Bullis says he was at the panel. That's cool. Um, there were probably a lot of dudes over here at the panel. Tango Hunter, it says Black Hammer Lubricious. There's the good stuff right there. <laughs> So Brass case it? or a nickel case? Is that the um, uh, the three fifty seven Magnum? Um, the uh, Hornaday. Hornaday. Oh, that's yeah, Hornet Critical Defense or critical. Yeah, some gun says he has a four inch python. <laughs> what are they worth nowadays? Yeah, is he? Oh, is he? I think uh, I'm serious. This one, ah, uh, they're they're sitting between a four inch python. That short, that's, really? That's what I got. It's a it's a four inch. Oh no, that's a four inch. Oh okay. Four inch python. Uh, oh, is okay. it blued, blued or nickeled? What's the, what's the condition in? They started around two thousand and yeah. Honestly, I when he said when he said uh, four inch python, I was thinking it's a thought of a thing. strong joke. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought maybe it's going to go like this and say, "Yeah, check out these pythons or something." <laughs> yeah, I was like, "What four inches? I wouldn't be bragging about it." <laughs> well, Hank, Hank, what do you got? Since everybody else showed a gun, what are you, what are you rocking back there? I I don't have any guns, man. I oh. I mean, other than oh. what I'm carrying, other than my EDC. There's some guns in the safe, but I got in here late, and since I was on someone's show, yeah, I didn't really take any guns out of the safe. So, well, you ain't got a hand grenade in your pocket. What's up? Hey, I got I got a bazooka in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> What's Walter got here? That's the the same one. The AK oh, I, you're really I like you're really proud of this thing, man. I think you. Do, so, what all? What kind of work have you done with this, Walter? Okay, well, today, I, like I said, I had to weld a piece of Picatinny rail onto the back so the stock could mount. This is the SIG uh, folding stock off my MCX. So let me show you how it, it just, it's just a really cool stock and it's really well made. Um, and it just fits the profile of the gun perfectly. You know, it, it's, it's, it's there. So um, it, it just all kind of came together. I welded it all up and uh, put the stock on and it works great. So, and when I was, we had a thunderstorm this afternoon at the shop, and it was raining like a cow pissing on a flat rock for a while. So um, while it was pouring down rain, I loaded up a couple of mags and made – oh, there goes Tavin. Yeah, made, come back. Uh, Kevin, I saw Kevin's trying to come in, but he came in and out, so maybe he'll probably be back. Sorry, I had to step off real quick. I'm okay. back. Well, I had to – I went in the bullet trap and made some uh, made some sweet noise in the bullet trap to entertain myself. And, um, and um, yeah. Yeah. So I see you kept the you kept the muzzle device, but that's the that's yeah, the uh, fireball maker. I need a you know I, I you know the the word now is it's it's called a moderator, okay? Yeah. Uh, I <laughs> really I, it's I, a moderator now. I Everything's just, gonna a, be a I moderator. A, I have an idea for a new patch where uh, you know how people are moderators where they come in and just they help people settle different agreements, right? Mm -hmm. I can help you with my moderator. Settle it. Yeah, I got your moderator right here. Right here. Right here. You know what I'm saying? You. I got your moderator. <laughs> no, but really, what this needs, it needs um, some kind of device to put the blast forward because you saw how bad it was coming out the sides. Yeah. So so did not, they retract their statements on that? Says it's no, it's not really a 50 state um, muzzle loader. Did they retract any of that or did ATF shut them down on that? Um, I don't know, but yeah, it may not be in some states, but I mean, come on, that's it should be fifty state legal. I I don't think they have to change that. What well, else? Some, you some know, states, it's, some that's states. the fault of the state. Damn it! 
No, you know what? They were talking about that on the fireman's blog today, and that's that's actually Sirencico's fault. They've been working on this for a couple years, right? And they should have by now had it all figured out every place. But I think they did it on purpose just to get the press. It's marketing. What yeah. are you going to say? Oh, you know what? This is really the 45 state and maybe in some other states if you're if the state's illegal and they're not a bunch of communist bastards. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's not good marketing. <laughs> yeah, but can't you get sued for false advertising on something like that, though? Because, see, legally, the District of Columbia, where Washington, D.C. is, it's not in a state. It's okay, are you serious actually, right now? <laughs> are you it's actually right a now? country by itself. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, come on, man. I I don't I I'm not bothered by that. I don't I, no, I don't know what anyone else thinks, but I'm not bothered by that statement. And if there's states that don't they, those states, that's on them. Why the hell don't those states allow people to have something that's uh, legal? Because the constitution. Yeah, exactly. It's protected by the constitution, oh, baby. Hey, you see you where know? California just passed something where you, if you're a California citizen, you can have one gun a month. What? Bless their hearts. You can have one <laughs> gun. <laughs> what kind of bullshit like is that? One gun purchase? Does that consider one, pur one purchase per month? I, that can't stand up in court if somebody challenges it. I just I can't imagine. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't what? know, man. It wouldn't work for me. So that's wait. So was that signed, or I mean, that's law in California? It, I guess it's it's going through their process in California, whatever it is. Yeah. Oh, whatever happened to shall not infringe? Well, that's what, um, Tyvin, I was just trying to say that to you just now when you were talking about those guns not uh, being I, legal I know, in those states still, and trying to blame Solisico for that. <laughs> it's I not Solisico. I was just that's trying to bring up a discussion fault. point. No, I understand. I understand where you're coming from, but I'm just saying, like, you know, that's really on the states, man, and the people have to change those states. If you're, if you're in a place where you can't own guns, it's called not America. <laughs> Hey, hey yeah. I, did a, I did a 4473 on myself today. Uh huh. Guess how many guns were on that 4473? Oh, God. How many did you? Oh, I, uh, hold up. Serious, a serious guess. Yeah, 62. Well, okay. Wait, wait, wait. How many, how many serial numbered items were on? They weren't all fire. Say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say 55. 11. No, come on. Not that. <laughs> okay. Babyface is saying 11. Tyvin, do you have an official? I'll say 362. Okay, I'm bringing mine down since you said not that much. Okay, I'm going to say 25. No, nope, not quite that much. I had 17. 17? 17. 17. Okay. 17? Now, some, nice. of those, some of those were receivers that were not assembled. They were just blank receivers. Mm -hmm. But um, I just, you know, I, they, I bought them for myself just to have, so. Yeah, now did you report yourself to the ATF or whatever? Nonsense? I have to do my own. Believe me, I have to do my own background check and stuff. How silly yeah. is that? <laughs> okay, I know you did that, but did you report? Like, isn't there a thing when you no, buy that's, a that's certain? For, that's for pistols. That's pistols. Most. Okay, so you didn't. So they were. So none of those are pistols. <laughs> Could you imagine? I it. I guess it, it could happen where the person doesn't that owns the business doesn't have a concealed carry in Florida, so your business could own a bunch <laughs> of pistols, but you couldn't take them home for three days. Like it's so yeah, crazy. Legally, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, I mean, so I'm a, a sole proprietor. All you have to do is write in the books for for the owner's personal that I use or whatever. But as a corporation, you have to do the a background check, like like if you were buying it for a yeah. babyface buying it for me. So it's just kind of silly, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, so let's hi, welcome, Kevin. Let's welcome Kevin Dixie. Uh, what's going on, everybody? What's but up, Kevin? What's up? Oh, he said everyone except Tyvin. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> we saw it until we, which I'm not ready to do today. But we oh, got. We, uh, we saw no, why are you not ready? We need to have this <laughs> battle. You're home, Tyvin's home. No, I got thrown off today. I wasn't so. I was no, supposed I, to be no, busy, no. man. No. Right, but my son's dance got moved to the night because we had the whole crazy weekend last weekend, so they canceled it. Oh. So he reminded me today I had to get him over to the school dance. So. I just dropped him off and ran over here and started harassing y'all. I am in full troll mode today. I want to warn you, though. Yeah, but see um, now, if I, you would have said I had a hangnail, I would have believed you and said, "Okay, we'll do it another time." But since you made that up, I don't know if I can believe that or not. I, I'm, I'm, so, I'm not I, going for that. I'm not going for that. You guys hey. are both home. This is getting done tonight. So get your get your engines <laughs> revved up. Get your big panties on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put your big <laughs> panties on. We are doing it. We are doing it. You, Kevin, you get your loader. <sighs> and I'll be right in, you back. Get, there you go. Get your stuff. You got some time. 
We will all discuss. You guys go get ready. It's no problem. Oh, it's supposed to be what? A, a two sixty round mags against a what two thirty rounders? Ain't that what it was supposed to be? Oh wait, you're trying to change it now. <laughs> no, what was it? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> um, wait, who remembers this challenge? I think uh, no, the mags could be the same. We'll see who can load the most mags in a given time period. I Kenny, think you're you using your system round, and Tyson yeah. using his system. Uh, That's what we will see. There wait, you go. Each person has a system. Well, okay. So I don't think you were here, Babyface, but no. Tyson, um, Kevin has the um, what's that loader you're using, Kevin? Uh, the AR is the Caldwell's AR-15 something. Hold that's on. the one that like flips back and forth. No, that's a look. You're thinking oh, of loader. loader. Okay. No, he's got you some kind of speed loader that's supposed to be speedy. It called well. Yeah. And Tyvin, what are you going to do? You're just going to load by hand? Well, I can't do the 60 round drum because both my drums are already loaded. I got a big deal coming up. So I've been preparing. So I hope that he will uh, accept the challenge that I will just load one 30 round magazine and I have a box of shells. So hopefully that. No, I think you've got to load two. I think you've two? got to load two. We got to see who who gets two magazines loaded first. How about that, baby? Well, does that sound fair? Is that fair? Yeah, whatever. Okay, let we'll me go run back up, get another magazine. I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay. We'll go count. So you guys go get set up, and we'll talk amongst ourselves here while we're while we're at that. What other new stuff is going on? I haven't had a chance. Oh, you know, we're supposed to be talking about British stuff. So here's a. Well, hey, speaking of that, I I went on I went on to um, I saw a, a post about the um, the British police uh, one in three or two in three want to have guns. They you stole have. my story. You stole my story. And and, and and there's a petition that's being filled out or filed with the British government. Not that it'll make any difference. So that the people can have guns. So yes. Can right. Yeah, so that's in the, uh, the truth about the, guns. The, the start it has started you know that's yeah. that's that's what starts you got to <clears throat> you know i think i think the uh, the terrorist attacks and you know the rapes that are happening yeah, and, got people the, and the uh, acid getting thrown at acid you in people's faces yeah i think they're pretty well set up yeah yeah it's uh it's oh, wait, i got to leave him in the box because yeah. he'll be taking his out of the box so too, that so. you guys so that you two guys know since you're both listening it's going to be the first to load two magazines that's going to be this competition two, two magazines. standard 30 round magazines the first to load now Without i did cheating, it has to, to be 30 rounds in each magazine are you doing pull ma mag pull or are you doing metal i got mag pull it doesn't uh, matter it doesn't okay. matter it doesn't matter Oh wait, it matters, like, baby face. I see you think it's easier to load than the metal ones. I hate those metal ones. <laughs> well, that's on time on time uh, and if you got the only two that I have that are unloaded and I've got oh. one mag pole that's plastic that's not How about yeah. one of each. You're at a disadvantage. Yeah, one of each. There you go. Okay, okay. there we go. <laughs> this is gonna be You're gimping yourself, just so you know. Uh and Kevin is like, and why are you trying to help him? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take my camera down here. Yeah. And Tyvin, by the way, why do you not have extra magazines? <laughs> I've got a bunch of stuff loaded no. already. These no, are no, no. The I'm sorry. The You're supposed to just buy Magpul magazines whenever you see them. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't on sale, so I didn't get them. Uh, my, my mags are, are not a commodity. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying people out there have to buy Magpul, but, you know, whatever your favorite polymer magazine yeah. Or hey, if you're into you know the GI mags or whatever, you know but, also um, this, I actually like the metal ones better than I do the Magpul. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think it's just because uh, that's what I'm used to doing. And using there's right. nothing. There's nothing wrong with those. I trained. I took like four of those when I was training. This is, this is what you need. You got to get something like this. Well, wait a minute. Keep it loaded oh, with. Yeah, uh, there you go. K74 ammo. <laughs> oh, wait. Did wait you make that? Did you make that, Patrick? No, I bought it. It's a uh, surplus. There you go. He, uh, okay, hold on. Let's see. Let's see, Walters. Raindrop. Oh, uh, Walters has some kind of crazy strike. That's a on German. It. That's a German. That's a German. Strange. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's a Russian one. It's available everywhere. Cheap. Yeah, see, I've got the LBE expensive. with the old style square. Uh, what kind of mags are these? Pulling the sides. Oh, there you go. Walter, you going to join in on this? What kind of mags are those? Those are those, are those five five six mags. They're gun mags. No, these oh, are um, these are Type eighty four uh, Chinese two twenty three. Oh, no, okay. let's, let's get this party going. 
Uh, okay. All right, now, Kevin, I still have my rounds in my box right here. You can still Round see in the box, sir. Everything's in the box. Okay, all right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Now, don't start <laughs> anything. We're going to give you guys the go. Hold on a second, and I'm going to – wait a second. I got to get my stopwatch. Walter, you yes, do sir. a stopwatch? Um, I can go get one. I don't have a wish. Oh, you don't know how to do it on your well, phone? I, mean, I got okay. my phone. I got my okay, phone. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's Thank all you. do our stopwatches. Hold on a second. Let me put Let's it in stopwatch mode. Okay. No, wait a minute. What's the winner get? Bragging rights. You tell okay. me. I'm good with that. Do you not That's want good. bragging rights? The winner, <laughs> <laughs> the loser <laughs> has to say on air. Down and say you are the master if you yeah. win. Yes. Okay. I was wrong. You were right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but the loser has to say how awesome, <laughs> how awesome. Kevin, you're awesome, dude. I'm just practicing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. You okay. tell me when. Okay, so Tyvin, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, well, I gotta see Kevin's hands down there. Oh, okay. well, mine's gonna be a little. No, more put good. your hands in the air. Put your hands up. Hands, look, both hands up. It's empty. Okay. Box okay. is here. Okay. Okay. Box Just now, okay. both mine are empty too. Okay. okay. All right. Hold on now. Hold on. Okay. You guys ready? All right, hands off, right? Yes. Hands off. Okay. Ready? And go. Let's I'm see already who's going to go first. We'll start over here with Kevin. Kevin's focused. He's very focused now. Oh. He's trying to, trying to keep, keep serious. Tyvin's only showing his hands for some reason. So, hey, I'm showing Kevin, you what you're Kevin's doing, hiding man. what's actually happening. For all we know, Kevin's super cute daughter is seconds. down there actually loading these magazines. Yeah, she's <laughs> she cannot see what Kevin is, what Kevin's doing. I have Tyvin, Tyvin, on the other hand, 30 seconds. There. You know, Tyvin, Tyvin is, uh, where are you? How many rounds? Tyvin looks like he's oh, like halfway counting. through. Oh, he's oh, like, I got stuck. Oh, 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 let's see what Kevin's doing. Kevin is very focused here. <laughs> Tyvin, <laughs> Kevin's not, Kevin does not even want to say anything at this point. We are at the 54 second mark. <laughs> Correct. Oh, I'm having issues. <laughs> Babyface is totally nonplussed. He's like, One I'm show. I'm going to show my python. Show your python, baby. Here, hey, baby face, here's some in the wrap AK-74 uh, Max East German. Oh, oh wow, that's sexy. In the in the, in the the container that my dad brought back. <laughs> one the one. One. Uh-oh. Kevin Kevin just did something. He just Walter, made a move. Kevin did a power from the move. Oh, I dropped the bullet. Okay. Tyvin, are you on the second magazine yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Tyvin's on. Walter, Walter can't hear me. Yeah, sorry. What's that, Walter? Walter. Did they come from? Did they come from Knob Creek? Is that where they got them? No, these that my dad actually brought back from Germany. Oh, that's cool. Stuck in his in his in his air in his baggage, actually. You two are killing the tension right now. This is a race. We're at a minute forty nine. Yep. And I don't know how many magazines are loaded. The zombies at this point have started to eat lots of brains. <laughs> the zombies Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mark. Two minutes. Oh yeah, two minutes. Oh two minutes. goodness gracious. There it is, done. Oh, what Tyvin's done? Tyvin's done. Tyvin's done. Ah. done. Oh. Wait, wait. That was about two oh nine for Tyvin. Something like that. So did Tyvin win? That was close. Oh, shit. That was I'm all of them. That, that was all of them. Both of them loaded. Kevin, how many did you get done? Two. Uh, right when he said done, I was loading the second one up. Oh, okay. That was close. That was close. Cool. Yeah. That was really close, but we have to give it to Tyvin. All right. We have to give it to Tyvin. Tyvin so Kevin, we're gonna out. lock we're gonna lock the screen on you. Let the camera out. <laughs> you should have been practicing, Kevin. I wasn't thinking about this crap. I just you saw have let the pe you have let the people of St. Louis down. <laughs> no, no, hang not, your no, head in not, shame. Let me, let me get my let me get my thing out the way. Right. My word. Okay. Right, Go ahead. I didn't hear what you said. My wife was talking to me. Are you ready, Tyvin? <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, sir. Are you ready? You were right. <laughs> I was wrong. You rule the world. <laughs> Brother, I totally respect your honesty and your challenge, and thank you. No, you're welcome. Now, I don't know what I'm going to send these to you. I don't want you to sign them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. 
I will do that's it. I'm just practicing on this thing. That's I'm just kicking man. him when he's down, man. That's just no, it's not. That's an honor and respect thing, man. You know, hey, I challenged one of the best guys that train personal defense and stuff. So hey, oh. wait, who was it? Who was it on this show that always wants people to sign their magazines? Was that Ted? Was that Kevin or Tyler? Yes. No, that's, that's Kevin. Kevin. No, that was Kevin. Oh, that was Kevin. I do, yes, I do Kevin. It because I understand the value of collectibles. See? No, but now you have to sign Tyvin's magazine. That, I that's agree with why that. I sign Tyvin's magazine. Yeah. And well, it's an honor respect thing. And you have to put Tyvin was awesome and loaded way faster oh, no, than I me. Go all that. Just sign his name. I'll be cool. <laughs> yeah. I will gladly do it. So Lola, Lola says she wants to give, she wants to give Kevin a week to practice. <laughs> no, it does not work. No, 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 a loss is a loss. But I will say this, in all honesty, I haven't taken this thing out the pack in over a year. To the other night, I brought it on the show. Yeah, don't tell us about over a year. You did it the other night, man. No, yeah, I did it the other night one time. I mean, yeah, what it is? I'm still. No, you should have been. You should have been in there practicing. You should have been like ready for you know if it ever happens again. You know what, Hank? You know what, Hank? Now I'm calling you out. Whoa. Whoa. You know what? Now I'm calling. Damn. I'm going to practice. <laughs> okay. While I'm not here, I'm going to be gone for all of next week. So you can practice oh, all, all you want to. See that? Okay. We have just made. We have just made hangout history. <laughs> you know, hangout history. There you go. Any commentaries? Let's see what people think about this race. Do they think we were being unfair? I mean, we can't say you're being unfair because Tyvin had the handicap, right, Babyface? I yeah, Steel Mags. I'm not a fan. Hey, I, I split it up. I did one of one. I I'm saying you're gimping yourself over there. So you definitely had the handicap in that. Yeah, place. yeah, he had the handicap. He could have done better than two oh nine. Yeah, I would say this. <laughs> These things. So I might as well release my my initial thoughts of it now. So these oh, are yeah. awesome. If, you, so if you're not in a rush or you buy the right box where the ammo just drops in, you know, what ammo already, come, already comes with the rounds pointing down, you can open the bottom, let them fall in 10 a row. These rock. If you are in a rush, uh -uh. stripper clips. Well, not only that, they'll save your thumbs because that's they will the save problem I was having is right there on the edge, man. You know, like my fingers already black that's, from that, the, uh, yep. the, uh, the uh, stuff that's on the rounds. That's true. So okay, Tyson's got, got war injuries. Time, this will be interesting. There's lots of okay. Listen, are you still doing you did you do a video on this or are you still gonna do a video? No, nah, man. I'm I'm doing it here for the first time. I'm telling you, I'm gonna play with this thing, but I am going to do a video, but I'm going to uh also go get the I'm trying to remember the brand, but I'm gonna get some some boxes where they actually already point down range. I mean down, open them up so they can fall in. And give it a true review, but then it's got to kind of got to limit you to what ammo you buy. I don't think that's fair. Um, yeah, I think it's a little bit complex. I like the speed loaders where you just open, put all your rounds in a thing, and then shoot, shoot, right. yeah, slam it down. Yeah, yeah, so I'd actually but, like to have one of those. Um, I've seen a lot of guys do them, man. They just open the box up, dump, spread them around, or whatever, and then yeah. Now, I mean, once you get this thing, once you get it loaded, I mean, just, just look. So it's loaded now. Once you get it. Actually going. Oh yep. yeah, yeah. Once you yeah, get it once, but you can actually move it pretty. That was my bad. I had a round fall out. Okay, but, uh, Kevin, you're not, not helping. <laughs> you're not helping the cause. Uh, right? Now you just loaded 30, 29 because I dropped one out. But uh -huh. <laughs> now, okay, you know. You know what, Kevin? Um, have you seen those other loaders? Maybe if we can get someone to get you one of those other speed loaders, then you can come back. You could be our uh, speed loading testing expert. Yeah, I'm, I'm fast with the hands, but this thing is a little. Yeah. It's but it's comfortable. Right, if you want a rematch at some point? We can do a hand to hand rematch. I don't know. <laughs> you know, we can see who has the fastest hands. Let me let me ask you guys this. This is totally off the topic. I was talking about this behind the scenes. So I was asking everyone. We got a bunch of people here on the panel. Kevin, have yeah. you ever gotten the pump stuck in your in your gas tank? Has that ever happened to you? The that is not. He means the nozzle. The no, nozzle. Yeah, the nozzle. Yeah. Have you ever gotten that stuck in the gas tank? That is not a euphemism for anything. <laughs> okay. I was wondering. I didn't know what we were talking about. I wanted to make, make sure. Um, no, I've never had that happen. Yeah, that has never happened to me, and I've been driving since I was like 16 years old. You mean that's oh, not I was underneath the assumption that you actually had it stuck in your car. So this is something you saw somebody else do. No, this happened to me. 
So oh, has okay. anyone else, has this ever happened to anyone else out there? Are you sure no. you didn't put diesel in that? Mm, I, now, come on now. Uh, you know, sometimes people don't pay attention. They grab that yeah. wrong nozzle thinking it's 87. It's green no, nozzle. No, too. that's not what happened. I actually have video. Has this baby face? I've never had it's never happened to me. Okay. Okay. Uh Walter, you're a pretty old dude. You've been around since like they invented cars. He got That's the five gallon can stuck. Oh, oh wait, is Walter giving me the finger? Oh. <laughs> Probably. He's tired of your shit. <laughs> no, I have not. Okay, right. you have not. Okay. I, so I, I'm from so. the time where you took the you know, when they when they first came out with the unleaded gas and they still had leaded gas, the leaded gas was cheaper. So Don't let him lie to okay. yes. I, I, That's a total lie, Walter. You're from the times when they had a the big glass tube no, up top. No, they had this <laughs> hole cut in the floor of the cars, and you put your Flintstone feet through there. Oh, and, and, and that's how you. And that's how you. Yeah, me, me, and me and Wilma were doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Well, Wilma's, Wilma's kind of sexy. So yeah, I'm, not, too, yeah. I'm not going to oh, argue uh, that. Walter, I wanted to ask you that picture yes, you posted on Facebook of the Hemet. Do you own that? Yes, that's a Mark 48. That's the Marine Corps version. Yes, I that's do. That's the split one right yeah, behind it, the... It articulates. Yeah, show us a picture of what you're talking about, Walter. Put it up to the camera. Let's show well, it. Let um, me find it, damn it. Okay, okay. So while you're doing that, while you're finding it, we'll come back. I'm going to lock gotta it go on me. i got to go through the archives. No, I'm going to lock it on me so I could try to show you guys this video because no one believes me, but this happened, okay. and I actually shot video. I did it, you know, um, the vertical way. Okay, so... Check this out. I'm at a gas station. Jimmy's Auto Port. And this has happened to my gas tank. Apparently, now the pump is stuck in there. So I guess something someone's uh, vandalized this or something. It's not supposed to look like that. I had no idea. Yeah, there's this metal. These are new pumps. And there's a metal thing on it, and someone bent it over. Oh, and I didn't realize that, and I put my, I put it, the uh, nozzle in. So how'd you get your nozzle out? out? Um, they scratched up. That's what I'm complaining about. They scratched up around my thing on my brand new car. Oh, and yeah, you um, got some scratch paint up right there. Yeah, and who's they? The people at the gas station. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. So are they going to pay for the repair? Uh, I don't know. I was not in a good mood, and I just—I mean, it's inside of the. It's inside of the, the thing there, so I don't care. Yeah, I mean, so this was like defective, man. So this is like a whole thing. I'm gonna show you guys. Well, at least you got video of it. That way, if you need to press yeah, charge, other and and that metal thing is not on the other pumps that are there. This is what the other pumps look like. Wow. They sometimes will put those extra nozzles, like if you're going in a son. big truck. It'll have a hook on it that when you stick the nozzle in the tank, the hook. You see that piece of metal that's bent over? Hold on, let me yeah. show you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it's not supposed to be bent over like that, but someone came to the gas station and bent that thing, and they didn't fix it, and I rolled up. I have never seen. I would uh, be a whole. Yeah, I'd be so in contact with somebody. Yeah. So I got the card of whoever runs the gas station, but the people were not. T First of all, they were like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> and I was like, really? really? Yeah, they, 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 you know, they don't have diesel, so they know it wasn't diesel. And you know, we went through the whole thing. We eventually got it out of out of there, but I have never seen that. All right, let so me. I don't know. Do you think you guys think I should post that? I mean, I didn't do it like you know horizontally and all that, but I was like, man, this is yeah, crazy. I post it. At least yeah, make a small yeah. video of it, post it on your Facebook thing. Yeah, yeah you know. So have you guys still have any of the gas shortages down there, or is it all pretty much got that's gas? That's all over with. That's all yeah, over with. Pretty much done. Yeah, that's pretty much done. And um, by the way, you know, we should give a big shout out. I don't know if anyone knows those dudes that work for the electric companies. Oh yeah. What do they call those dudes that fix all the power <laughs> when they have the trucks? Linemen, linemen, linemen. Linemen. Okay, those dudes, man. Those dudes need like uh, you know, those dudes need props. And um, today, when I was going up to Tallahassee, I saw just like a ton of those guys driving on the roads. Well, when I came up to your place last weekend, I, they were all over the place. Uh, Crystal River, uh, Homosassa, um, up towards you. They were all over yeah. the place. So, Oh, I saw hundreds of those guys driving home. They're all going home now, so I'm guessing that... Most um, of the everyone, work is over with, yeah. Yeah, everyone in Florida or 
should be, you know, more than 90% well, of Florida should be back, right? I don't know if yeah. anyone knows the number. Yeah, somebody, some people were complaining down here that I guess if you live in real extreme, you know, the ends of the line, so to speak, I guess it was taking longer. So, um, but yeah, most people have it back now. So, yeah. So that's a good thing, man. It's, you know, it's cool that those guys came down here and did what they needed to do. I know lots of other people, like lots of other places have gotten really beat up bad by uh, the hurricanes. And then, of course, you know, those uh, earthquakes in, in Mexico, oh, man. Mexico, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, you got to feel sorry for those people. Yeah. TJ Blaze wants to know what happened to all things Britain. We are going to hit that. We're going to talk about some British stuff. <laughs> but Walter, okay, so go ahead, Walter. Show us this vehicle of awesomeness. Oh, oh, I stopped looking for it. You, you interrupted me. Yeah. Are you selling that thing? Um, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. uh, well, right now, no, Buckshot is being real good, Patrick. He's, uh, he he's sleeping. Hold on, you ready? Is he sleeping? <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to mute there. Oh no, he's awake. He's awake. Yeah, he's just oh, laying. He's, there. he's not in the mood. <laughs> he's like, whatever. Is he a lab? He's a lab mutt of some kind. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't hear that. Oh, you got your things got on, so that's why he didn't hear. Okay, so there you go, guys. Check out this vehicle. So tell us the story of this. Walter. Okay, well, right now it, it needs some engine work. Um, I got to fix the engine. Uh, if somebody wanted to purchase it the way it is, I'd be more than happy to sell it to them. But um, what um, is it? It's a Mark Forty Eight, Oshkosh Mark Forty Eight. The Army version is called the Hem. Anything to it? Pardon me. Does it need any work done? It needs engine work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, got it, a Detroit uh, V Eight in it. With yeah, it's got a uh, ninety one blower. 92 series Detroit, yeah, turbo, super, it got a supercharger and a blower, yeah. That thing is massive. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. Are. It's awesome. Yeah, it's like 40,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Yeah, try to change the tires on one of those, dude, by yourself. At the time, I was a 150-pound uh, buck, and we had to change one. Well, I had to change one, and it took me six hours to do it by myself. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. looking at a little tripod thing that comes off the yeah, side. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, all yeah, that. yeah, yeah. It has that, yeah. So just show that picture one more time, one more again, Walter, if you can. Um, yeah, I just yeah. want to lock it on here. Maybe I can help you sell it. Now, where did you where did you get this from? Where did you get um, it? From? I purchased it right from the U.S. military. Okay, um, and it's ro it's road legal, right? It, yes. When I I had another one, I had two of them. I actually this is an auction store. Show it, show it, throw it up on the oh, screen. Hang on, just hold on. Gosh darn it! I bought. I was I was bidding on the one and I and I ended up with two if you can believe it or not. <laughs> oh, can I believe it? Yes. Um, <laughs> I believe. It. I wow, believe that it. was an eighteen thousand dollar mistake. Uh, that was more than that. Um, oh, <laughs> um, oh, here here's the oh here it is right here. Okay, so I think it's go sideways, go sideways for a second. Let's we'll we'll yeah, we'll switch over. There you go. Wow, that's so cool! So you could put a whole um, shipping container on that, right? Yes, the the Mark Forty Eight is a modular design. It it separates behind the cab, and you can put um, the back that's on there now is for a, tw a twenty foot C container, a Conics container. They have a wrecker version. They have a cargo version. They have a fifth wheel, which I have also. It's sitting right ahead of this, um, so you can pull a like a tank trailer. Um, yeah, there's about five or six different versions. Um, the army version is called the Hemet. The That's Hemet, the Hemet doesn't articulate. This one articulates in the middle. So the front two wheels turn. And then once it reaches a certain point, it twists in the middle. Yeah. Um, it's a little, it's pretty weird when you're driving it. Uh, yeah. Some gun says, uh, we use that for fire trucks in DOD. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, so, you, can get, uh, you can get a half a dozen speed loaders on the back of that. What was that baby face? <laughs> Our Archangel's asking how much as is, Walter. Um, as is, um, and it's got clear Florida title and everything for the for the cab and the trailer. Um, it is. I could do that for like sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. So, okay, and you, you can get it to start, right? I mean, it's not uh, like right now. Not it, last time I tried, it didn't start. So okay. Um, so that's why I need to I need to fix it. The best way to sell it, we running so. Um, but the other one I had ran great, and I've sold it. And this since then been sold two or three times. <laughs> I've seen it on the internet two or three times. So, um, oh, changing hands. Okay. Yeah, changing, changing hands. hands. Yeah. So these have all the kit, all the jacks, all the tools to change the tires, like Tyvin was talking about. Jesus. Um, 
which in alone itself is a lot of cool stuff. Yes. Um, but um, Ken Helmers wants to know if Tyvin will deliver that. <laughs> you need a low um, boy. You need a low boy with a winch to do that one. So uh, yeah, you're not driving that, dragging that behind a pickup, dude. That ain't. No shit. <laughs> Um, so, so Walter, it, it, if you besides go, that, it gets it gets three miles per gallon. Just let you know. So. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so, it's <laughs> awesome yeah. though. That's three. That's three miles of awesomeness per gallon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I tell you what, though, if you've ever driven a Hemet or something like that, and you're going off road, they literally will pretty much go anywhere. Yeah, we, I didn't. We we had the Hemet tankers. Yeah. Um, and we took them down to tank trails at Fort Hood. And I mean, I've had the water clear up, you know, to the edge of the door of the windows at right on through, dude. I've seen pictures of some marines out in the water and the water's washing up at the base of the windshield. Yep. So yeah, it's out in the salt water, by the way. So I don't know if I'd yeah. want that one. Chris B said uh pull the Patriot missiles. So Walter, if you got it running, is it gonna be more than that or what? Yeah, if it's running it, it'd probably be about twenty five. So, okay. Okay. All um, right. Cool. That's about the going. That's about the going rate for them. Okay. Um, and that's only got like thirty eight hundred miles on it right now. Wow. Okay. Really? They was it with that was low it miles? Yeah. They came. These came out of um, like the Marine Corps, um, out of Blunt, Blunt, Blunt Island, which the Marine Corps keeps their uh, vehicles that are ready to deploy. So, um, when these were sold, this thing, like I said, I, it, it was driven off the trailer, but since then it's. Something's happened, so I've got to I've got to fix it. I might have somebody that's going to do it for me, so I don't have to mess with it. But you, know. you go down to your local TA truck stop and get a whole one of their mechanics and say, "Hey, dude, I got a side project for you if you're interested," and give him you know give him an hourly rate or something. Right, right, right. That's a possibility. Yeah, I gotta, or I'll take it all apart and they can just do the fixing. You know, taking apart part of the cost. Yeah. No. That's anyway. pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So if yeah. anyone's interested in that, let us know. Yeah, they don't. There's only they only made about twelve hundred of these, and yeah. this is this is a nineteen eighty eight. So there's been you know ones that have been they're not selling them anymore. By the way, too, the government stopped selling them to you got to the civilians. So well, um, guys were buying those because that version right there, guys would just drop the trailer and try to scream down the oh, highway can't do with them, <laughs> and you can't. It'll flip. Yeah, yep. it does. It doesn't actually any, it, stop making them too. And they went to the full framed one, the oh, eight wheel cool. drive, is because got privates that don't have any experience driving right, right. would go out and wreck them. Well, now they're down a piece of equipment, and that's not something you can go down to the local Napa oh. store and get parts for. No, you got to no. go straight from the dealer for stuff like that. The Marines did the articulation because they wanted a smaller turning radius. That the regular Army Hibbets have like a hundred foot turning radius. Yeah, these will turn. These will turn in forty. So, that's that's an advantage. But if <laughs> when you turn that truck and you stop it, if you don't straighten it out before you stop, it'll automatically try to straighten itself out. And that's some weird shit. When all of a sudden you're trying to get out and it and the hydraulic cylinder goes woo and the wheels, <laughs> the whole cab swings around. So it's like you got to be careful. Yeah. The other problem they had with those is. Uh, like 93 or 94 percent of all accidents that a Hemet was involved in the passenger died because the driver would always see something coming and jerk away so they wouldn't hit them and it would always <laughs> the passenger. Oh, hey, yeah. you shouldn't be laughing at that but yeah, yeah. It's, funny, it's, but, yeah. i know but still because yeah. you sit so far out in front and so low that if it's involved in, a, in an accident the, the passenger is the one that usually gets killed yeah yeah well I wouldn't want to be involved with that thing, an accident with that thing, because it's huge. Yeah, that's a lot of weight behind you, man. Oh yeah, yeah. People did some crazy shit when I drove it a couple of times. They pull right out in front of you in these little Toyotas and stuff. And if I hit that Toyota, I'd go over it like it was a speed bump. <laughs> I think Hank ought to get it, put it out there in the farm, and then put the uh, ambulance trailer he's got out there in his house out there on the back of it. That way, if we need a squad, he's got a squad right there. Right, right. Yeah. I don't think so. Um, not with the not with the maintenance required. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you just did I did you not just see the video where we had the uh, you know, the gas thing? The yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I tell you what, this has this has an opening this big, so you won't get it stuck in there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. You should have saw me at the yeah. local way filling up one time. So now let me I pulled let, in. Go ahead. Uh huh. 
when I pulled into the local gas station to fill up, that was a that was a I that was a that was a chore actually. It was hard to do to get everybody out of the way and stop doing stupid stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, I mean, if you want to park it somewhere, you could park it on the hacienda, but then you got to get it over there. That's so, a lot of fuel. That's a lot of diesel fuel yeah. to get to your house. Yeah. So listen, I'm gonna give everyone an assignment because we got it. Uh, okay, okay, there's a okay, comment from Razor JB. Um, uh, Razor JB say we got a, a hemet stuck in the mud, then another hemet toe came in and got stuck beside us. Well, <laughs> like, uh, um, Tyvin was saying about going out in the mud. People said, "Do you ever take it out in the mud?" I'm like, "What happens if you get stuck? You got to have something. You got to have something just as big." Or bigger to pull you out, and if you don't, you get one of those stuck, dude. You it's gonna to, take a couple of them to get you right, out. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, know, you don't you don't want to go in the mud, no, just for fun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so hey, before, before you give out assignments, you know, I just uh -huh. want to say something. All uh -oh. the grief and all the drama. Oh boy. You guys gave me about wearing my HK stuff. Uh -huh. You know what? Yeah. I thought that you were right. I want to say everybody was right. What? Oh Lord. Wait, this is a setup. It was it was definitely something that I should have been more courteous of and um <laughs> give everybody respect, right? For your feelings, because I care about everybody's feelings. Oh boy, I don't like where this is going. Uh -oh. There it goes. I know. Goes. I just so I just wanted to let you know that I oh, didn't film wow. any ill tent tonight. And I would never, ever, ever purposely disrespect you. I just came to really show my support for the show. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh dear. You know, oh, sit dear. back and um Oh dear! And we mysteriously, that time. That's all I can. <laughs> we mysteriously lost the feed to Kevin. <laughs> right. CNN style. But I, look, we just we, we're just here to have a good show, right? You know, a couple of show off, a couple of guns. You know, what, what are you rocking there, Kevin? You no, know, oh, that's oh, you mean the hat or the gun? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. The gun. Oh, this is a little old um, Springfield XDM five and a quarter forty five comp pistol. That's all it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Where should we have my... should we have a survivor style vote to see if we should keep Kevin on the <laughs> island? The island. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to vote right now? Because <laughs> I vote, vote yeah. I vote kick Kevin off the island. I, I, I vote, vote to kick Kevin, Kevin a mulligan. <laughs> uh, I, I just, vote Ke I vote Kevin off the island. Who else? Oh, that is just that is just so mean. I mean, <laughs> ask me not to do one thing and I didn't do it. That's and mean spirited. Yeah. yeah, Eric Garcia like wants to know what's up with the RV build. Actually, we're supposed to be selling the 440 to Walter, right? Yeah. Walter, are you yeah. still buying that 440? I'm still interested. We yeah, haven't talked about we haven't talked price or anything. Yet. Yeah, we got to we got to work that out. We got to work work yeah, that yeah. out somehow. But yeah, um, that's you know that's we're probably going to get into that once it starts getting a little cooler here. Yeah, it's too hot. It's just bleh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, um, and Kevin. Mm -hmm. Kevin. Kevin, huh? Kevin. Oh, you still got that hat on? Oh, okay. Just checking. I just saw some, speaking of Springfield, I just saw some promo for some deal they're having with women that are all training, and they all got the AR-15, you know, their, their regular old AR-15, and they're I don't all even, doing this. I don't even read news from, from those from Springfield. They're spending a lot of money trying to push that gun. Maybe they must not be selling them. Mm, what kind uh, of gun is it? It's the um, Springfield, what's they call it? The, the Saint? The Saint, yeah. Yeah, the Saint, which is just a regular Saint. Yeah, regular those of us that have any sense here are totally ignoring that. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should have called it the Hillary. That's what they should have yeah. called oh. it. I think that's what they were hoping for so they yeah, could actually that's... sell some guns. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I can't yeah. believe she's still trying to pimp all her stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> just so you know, just so you know, Tyvin, uh, Springfield Armory was in a little bit of uh, a pickle. <laughs> a couple of months ago, they weren't the only ones. It was uh, what was it? Rock, Rock River. Rock, uh, for Rock what? River. For what? Because I'm telling. Uh, they almost they, they almost set up gun people. They made a deal. They were making a deal in uh, Illinois that would give them like special treatment and make it difficult for other people in Illinois to sell guns. Weren't they a part of some like uh, legislation or something? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, you know, oh. we know, we know they got to, we, we know they got to Kevin, you know, and, uh, <laughs> they sent Kevin so, some so you wanted, nice so who, stacks in the mail. <laughs> I, will, I will say this, a full disclosure. It was, it was an, uh, cause I wanted to troll. I had to do something, to troll. <laughs> a little better. but it was, um, I, I was, uh, actually, you know, the funny thing is when that, when that kind of really broke, it was, we were at, uh, NRA 
think when it when the story really kind of yeah. broke out on the floor and and i know and i'm cool with a uh, few guys over there at that company one um i see all the time he's and i consider him a buddy of mine so i got kind of their side of it too and i know what you know everybody else heard and uh the article that was wrote up so you know i just i kind of just stay out of it you know, support my friends i never turn my back on my friends uh but at the same time it was an interesting thing and i think it needed to develop let whatever the truth be come out and then it'll go to the wayside but i can't lie this is like one of my favorite guns and it has been before the debacle and the m1a is like one of my favorite ones the socom 16 is something that i've been salivating over for a while so i was just kind of hoping it would come out to be a misunderstanding i don't even know what the final disposition of it was i even stopped following it after a week or so they, they kind of they backpedaled real hard yeah al chervik says he's in illinois and he was heavily involved in that whole fight and he really? says yes that that was the weekend they did it um i think at this point yeah they got they managed to get that all put on hold okay but you know i'm sure their sales and everything like that have suffered and um <laughs> You know, those of us that know anything about guns, we're not out there buying their guns or even showing their stuff on right. live on live YouTube. It's a dog. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dags to be trolled. <laughs> All right. Now, speaking of Springfield, oh, you're getting doggy kisses. <laughs> uh, yeah. Speaking of Springfield. Okay. Now, now, Patrick, I bet you Patrick's going to go get Buckshot now. He turned off the speaker. Outdone. Yeah. Oh, oh maybe Buckshot hear- woke up over there. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Walter. I saw. I was watching today on um, Ian from Forgotten Weapons, and he was up in Canada at Marstar, which is a company up in Canada. And you know the Canadians have a lot of stuff that we don't have, and they don't get some of the stuff that we get. Yada yada yada. Rifle wise, the Norinco's making a. <laughs> Patrick also. I knew. I knew Patrick was like gonna be outdone. They gonna be out dog. Yeah. No out. way. Marinko's making a um, like Out an M- dog buckshot. <laughs> buckshot, you crazy dog! You. I'm telling you, the that's goat a herder. crazy dog. Go- the goat herder. That's what. Buckshot yeah. Is. Oh, he was good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We got to get. Let's remind Patrick of that story. Go ahead, Walter. Say what you were going to say, and then. No, the, Narinko's making an M1A or M14 knockoff that shoots 762 by 39. It's oh. cheap as hell too. You can get them. You can get them in Canada for like five hundred and fifty. It's five six hundred dollars in Canada. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Plus they okay. sell the three hundred eight version there too, which they used to sell here. Mm-hmm. Um, same kind of price range. So. Yeah. So Ian Ian was shooting it on Forgotten Weapons. Looks like a cool gun, actually. You know. They're they're really nice. Yeah. yeah I mean, you know, they are what they are, but uh, um, so yeah, the Canadians get stuff we don't get, and we get some stuff they can't have things like FALs and and HKs and stuff like that, but. Yeah, we got to ease up all those rules. Now, um, I, I want you guys, everyone has to get a uh, British gun-related story. That's well, the assignment. Here, yeah, everyone I have a, ha- I have I mean, a Russian-related story, just real no, quick. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, could talk, we could talk about that. But while it's in the we, news today. It's, it's I in know, the news today. I, okay, okay, but while everyone talks about that, everyone has to get their Uh-oh. British-related story Uh-oh. because you stole, you stole my British-related story, so now everyone has to. Oh, gosh. <laughs> there Air, we go. Air, AK's coming out. The AKs. Oh. Okay, there we see your AK. I just love Hold the on. gun porn. There goes your AK. All right, so you got your AK up. Ran CLP. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So um, you know All right, what? So let, me, let me finish with my gun story. Okay. Maybe I'm stealing your story again. Yes, you are. I know you. I bet. Is it about Kalishnikov? Yeah. And what's okay. on the statue? Yes. <laughs> and somebody's in hot water. Yeah, it's a Sturm Gewehr. So who put a Sturm Gewehr on the? On the well, that goes to prove you they did copy stuff. Yes. I yeah. Oh uh, yes, and I think I think someone was talking about that, Walter. I'm yeah, pretty uh, sure someone was saying. Yeah. This so yesterday. that's it. The truth about guns. Uh, yes. Oops! It's the uh, the headline is "Oops Monument to Mikhail Kalishnikov <laughs> Depicts Sturm Gewehr 44 Rifle." <laughs> <laughs> hey, lovey, look down at his gun. Huh? Oh, I was going to show you a digital gun since everybody's playing guns. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, oh you're showing a digital gun? He's, he's playing. It looks like his wife's playing video games. Yeah, she's playing Call of Duty like right over here. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Cool. Very cool. That's all right. These guys keep showing up guns, Lola. You're going to have to go pull a gun out of the safe because I will not be outdone. Well, here, here Hank. <laughs> here, here's your gun porn for you. I, I got your bases covered. Okay. Right there. Set the time to show. show right on it. Oh, check that out. 
Uh, Boom! Uh, and got my name on the other side. Okay. So I covered your bases for you. This is yeah. uh this is my brother. You guys have seen this one before, but uh, so, since, yeah. since you didn't have a gun with you, so I thought you know. Do 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 do. Oh, go ahead. Just talking keep going. talking about us now. Oh, oh boy. Yes. <laughs> you know this you is, this is the base. same thing that no, I have when I was You got to show it. You got to show it. Don't just show the flashlight. Oh. oh. Has anybody ever seen a gun um, locking strap lock thing that this long? That's let me lock. Let me lock in on you. Let me lock in on you here. What is that for? A bazooka? What the hell did that come with? This came with a shotgun. I bought this. <laughs> Like uh, it's like a Chinese made savage knockoff shotgun. Is that like a bolt lock? Well, yeah. I guess it was a key lock. lock. One of those I guess key you locks. Run it down a barrel and lock it open. Yeah, I think you put it all the way through with the action. Yeah, it's it's oh, wow. ginormous. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, that's wow. insane. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. What shotgun was that again? It was that's a um, a Stevens Chinese made yeah, Stevens. Steve. Yeah, that's normally the Chinese stuff. Yeah. So Al Chervik says. Um, so he's saying this to Kevin. Um, couldn't pass up. Couldn't pass it up. I guess he's talking about an essay. <laughs> it looks like it's no, he, got a, um, he got an He got a. He got a, a brand new Springfield for two ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, yes. Ooh. He was. I think he was talking about that earlier. And he says uh, Springfield Armory turned the whole deal around. They deserve a break. In his honest opinion, he's there in Illinois. Listen, I know they. I know they employ a whole bunch of people. So I'm not. You know, we're not trying to put them out of business. No. Not trying to keep them in business either. Well. Yeah. But not yeah. trying to put them out of business. Um, what was I just? If that makes any sense. Oh, Kevin, what's the uh, the NK pistol you've been you were toting around that, that V? What is it? The uh, the small one or the full size? Um, the reason I'm asking because Palmetto State Armory had a sale going on on one of the HK pistols. Uh, this like... is the, the so there's the VP9 uh, the VP9 the full size. Okay. And then there's the SK the compact the four inch. Okay. They had one of those on sale for like five forty nine. It was probably the VP9 because they're they're starting to get a lot cheaper. Okay. Most done, uh, and I, I think that's a good that's a good price too. If you can get one of them for under six hundred bucks, I would. Yeah. yeah, they're 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 starting to get cheaper probably for a good reason. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, that's probably Man. a good reason why they're starting to get cheaper. <laughs> what you got now, Hank? What you got? Again? Okay, so with <laughs> what functionality issues do you have with an HK? Oh, I don't like the VP9 <laughs> at all. Why? You know, it doesn't because it doesn't uh, it doesn't run properly in my hands. It's not designed for a man with real hands, with man hands. It's only designed for men with little baby hands. Hey, Hank, you want to prove how <laughs> just how old Walter is? <laughs> What's that? Go ahead. Okay, so you did it, Tyvin. Go ahead. Here you go. Let's see if you can tell me what this is. That is a Benjamin uh, air pistol, air uh, like a. Crossman or Benjamin, one or the other. Yes, Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin. Yeah, I know my air pistols. You know, come on now. There you go. I was one. I, I was one of one of those when I was a kid, but they were too expensive. Yeah. Okay. So, um, let me see if you guys can guess what the hell this is. You That's a saw. About, you want to talk about some guns? M two ninety four. All right. Put your hands up, Benjamin. Two forty nine. That's a two forty nine, right? Two forty nine is in the sky. Yeah, yeah, that's the 249. You know, all, all seriousness, though, those saws, um, when I had them when I was in armor and yeah. we would go out and shoot them, they literally are one of the nicest, cleanest, smooth running guns I ever shot. I really love those. Yeah. Oh, these are yeah, awesome. I had the full auto. So. Yeah, this is not full auto right now, but we are going to make this full auto. I, I promise you that. This will right, be so auto. Hey, hey, let me what's ask this, you. Since you what's this, what's this we, King Osabi? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> is that, a, is that we the, as in, um, do you see Do you see this right here? We, the Big Daddy Guns <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. We as in uh, the Big Daddy Guns crew. Daddy. That's a, that's a, Hank, that's a 249S, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Right uh -huh. <laughs> so you can take, I just wanted to make sure, so you can actually take the 249S and convert it. Yeah. I know you guys are doing it all legally. I just wanted to make if sure you, people are doing it. Right. Um, yeah. Yes, we can do it if you live in a free state. If you well, believe in freedom, son. <laughs> well, if you're a class two manufacturer, you can. Yeah, no matter what yeah. If you have the right paperwork, and if you have the right things, yes. Yeah, I just didn't know. I, I was more worried about the technical aspects. I didn't know if they yeah. made, you know, the, yeah. the engineering where it could even right. be. Right. And uh, as as uh, Mr. Sumgun says, I win. 
So unless somebody <laughs> could throw up something more badass than this, uh, I, would, I think we should just end the show right now. <laughs> <laughs> we still haven't talked don't, anything about. Don't Brady. try to call me to the carpet. <laughs> this this guy had. I got, I got army really guns. Know, son. Nothing small about my hands. All right, <laughs> <laughs> nothing small about. My hands. I just want to point that uh, out. Listen, uh, can I just point out to you that uh, this dude right here just beat you in loading with his hands? <laughs> and you had See, a machine. I got you little had hands. See, my hands yeah. are all the way back here. I got little yeah. hands. Yeah. Grandpa Keller? What's yeah. this stuff? Keller. Oh, hell <laughs> Somebody man. call me grandfather. <laughs> You know, one thing I can say is I'm not a grandfather. None of my children have had any children yet. So babies like, haven't had babies. <laughs> not yet. Don't jinx yourself, dude. <laughs> hey, not yet. Hey, Hank, can I, can I show you this? Uh, you know what this is. I showed it to you during our uh, introduction. Can I show you this? Or is that a sure. It's a box. Absolutely, yes. What is, is it? Is it a goat? <laughs> is that a goat? Yeah, absolutely. Is there something special in there? Yes, oh, what's in there? Uh, now, this is not a sponsored on Hank's uh, show or anything like that. Um, I had a very, should be. I had, yes, sir. Um, I told them today that I would be, uh, on your podcast. Um, they did send me something really unique and I was talking to Hank about it when he, when I did the interview on my channel earlier. So if you guys missed that, go check out the time show. Um, we did like about a 15, 20 minute interview on, on Hank on mm -hmm. his, uh, growing on YouTube and guns and all that stuff. But anyhow, this is a X site. Two HTN five by twenty. The and future of optics. optics. Yes, I actually. Um, so what is it? Is it a? Is it night vision or something? It's a day and night scope, uh, not thermal, but uh, you can record your video through your scope and yeah, all that, that kind of stuff. ATN, right? Isn't that the company that makes that? ATN. Yeah, ATN. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. right there we are. Um, we've got this, and we're going to be doing some videos with this um and upcoming and everything but for the price and everything if you're going to buy a good quality uh rifle and stuff always get a you don't have to buy this particular one but always get a good sight and yeah. this was my choice um uh, was this right here so joe carpenter says he's excited because <laughs> i do the youtube and i do the videos and stuff this allows me to not only just take this individually out in the woods and play with it but i can also put it on my gun and record with this so, so what does that uh, what does that cost um this particular one right here is 5.99 or 6.99 i think it's 6.99 so off of that let me say this because i know it's a lot of guys in um the, the st louis area matter of fact even if you're outside of st louis at the over at the range stl west because i actually have one of those sitting on the back shelf for me to pick up but we have i think two or three of those that we are basically putting out on clearance for a little bit less than 500 bucks Oh really? Okay. Oh. Now, there, this new? is the twenty. This Get is a the brass make new. It's, Never been shot. Well, this is the newer one. If they moved the dial from back here to mm -hmm. up here, and with their latest software update. So when you open that up, make sure you go do the software update. They fixed a lot of stuff. Okay. And they updated the app so you can Bluetooth this or Wi-Fi over to your cell phone mm -hmm. or your tablet. Mm -hmm. um they've they've really did a lot of good stuff now this five by 20 is good to a a thousand yards yeah i really i really cannot so, wait to get mine and play with it man those things they did the, the technology just seems so cool yes uh now i know that they've got some you can also get i think it's called a four um that is thermal okay yeah, yeah, so, uh, and, and helmers was just asking about that now we're talking thousands though yeah uh, 1999 don't call me okay. i'm thinking yeah Ooh. baby face just came back have you seen just show just show this oh. again so patrick can see this what is that this is the uh x site 2 hd is that uh, in, uh night vision yeah uh no day yeah day night not thermal yeah very really nice so, hey, that's for antifa knife hunting yeah right. i can do that I'll, I'll show you what I was using, and the reason because I got the new weapon, and this here is actually night vision, but I bought this in like 1986. Okay. <laughs> I'll show you. It still works, but you can't mount it on a gun or on a rifle or anything yeah, like yeah. that. That's but, first gen. Yeah, this this right here, you know, it, it is night vision, and it's got the little uh, light it's on the side. Yeah. yeah. 
Yep. Yep. Uh, it is nitrogen. Um, it still works and everything, but I I wanted it where I can mount on a on a rifle and or take it out. Because there's a farm back behind me, and there's usually kids over there playing in the woods. And then on the other side over here is a cemetery. And a lot of the kids that go drinking and smoke their uh, funny stuff over here. Uh -huh. So I'm constantly either shooting a shotgun to get them to go away, or I got to go over and yell at them. Well, now uh, we're having problems with people going and tipping over the headstones. Oh, well, with that X site, I can go over and record them. It, and the cemetery beside me is a Civil War cemetery all the way up to World War II. They're all soldiers in that cemetery. Oh, yeah. That's, and, and as I a mean, veteran. It's not a nice thing to do, period, hey, regardless of who's buried there. But no. Right. Yeah. Well, as a soldier, uh -oh. hey, that's totally disrespectful. Yeah. Not absolutely. only because it's a cemetery, but it's also a military cemetery. And that's uncalled for. So with trying to update this and getting a new gun, I went and researched and tried to look at everything I can do that was cost effective, and that's what I came up with. Claymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Patrick's got okay. What's Patrick doing? Well, I had two Kevin Dixies now. What he happened? Looks like a, he looks like a uh, Borg. Kevin has cloned himself. He's got two <laughs> Kevin Dixies. I told you I was about to troll tonight, man. That's just what's going. <laughs> what? Well, there you go. Now what we is go. that, Patrick? Night, this that's my night vision. It's a Gen One, I think. It's ancient. Yeah, but you know what? Made in Russia. Yeah, right after the wall came down, yeah. they, they they couldn't get that stuff here fast enough. Yep. Yeah. And then then what happened was, they we figured out that all that stuff was going all over the world. We didn't want our bat our enemies to to get all that Russian stuff, so they put the kibosh on the import and all the Russian stuff here, and it, yeah. um, yeah. and it really slowed it all down. So have but, you people gotten your British stories yet? I mean, I come on remember. now. I'll let me let me let me re remind everyone watching this. You got to do the thumbs up. Make sure you thumbs up and then share this video. Everyone's okay. supposed to be getting some British stories or I some kind of. I, 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 I hate to be rude, sir. It's nine thirty. The okay. wife has a bonfire yeah. and a cold one for me. So thank you for having me, Walter, Kevin. Oh, good meet you welcome. again, oh, baby face. Y'all be cool, be safe. My and I do have to go. So don't forget, everybody, subscribe, like, share to Hank. Make sure you tweet out the stream, guys. Tweet out. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy some bro love. Yeah, enjoy running around that fire naked. Naked. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm out. Y'all be cool. All right, see ya. See, see ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Yeah, what, are we gonna do with, what are we going to do with Tyvin? I don't know what we're going to do now. Tyvin okay. just wanted to get out, so he didn't have to show his British story. I was going to say, she's supposed to have a warm one for you, not a cold one. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Oh, dear. So, um, all right. British story. British Kevin, story. do you have yours ready? Is that what you're trying to say? Uh, I've got a fine one, man. one off, the, off the, the, the top of my head that I, I know. Well, it, go it for it. They're um, kind of not their... Not so much their gun laws, but definitely their servicemen. Okay, go for it. Um, and I think we talked about this before, but it definitely impacts them because the British um, servicemen use, especially their spec ops, I know they use uh, the MP5 heavily. It's kind of like their go-to. Uh, I know the MP7 is out, but you know they lost um, the rights to the MP5. So there's about to be a bunch of those things coming out, and HK apparently is not servicing the original MP5 anymore. Really? Um, yeah, so oh, wow. I know for the there British that might that might you know when their guns start going down, it might be a little interesting. And I'm wondering if their if their military and special ops and police forces have enough influence to make the oh. MP5 serviceable again. But I was actually at um, um over at a uh, carry guard. I was actually having a conversation with one of the guys that's actually servicing all the Saudi MP5s. Uh, he picked up the contract and started remanufacturing the parts for the Saudis MP5s. Apparently, they had 3,000 of them uh, that have been sitting around that they couldn't get serviced. <clears throat> that's silly. Yeah. yeah. That's, so that's, that's silly. So uh -huh. I wonder how the Brits, because I know that's their kind of go-to, so I'm wondering how they're going to they're gonna adjust it. Uh, this brings up a good thing that I actually was going to ask Walter. Next time you're at the creek, uh, if yes, you... I'm gonna I'm gonna give you like a thousand dollars to take with you. <laughs> if you can find me an MP5 parts kit, I would be oh boy. a happy man. I can ask around because mm -hmm. if, if somebody's gonna have it, they'll have it there. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, is a thousand bucks gonna do it? 
Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, for just a regular MP5. Yeah, yeah. just a regular MP5. Okay. Yeah, and you, you get them online for about fourteen. So I'm guessing somebody at the creek would have it for a little cheaper. Yeah, yeah, huh. yeah. Now I just read a story, and I, I'm looking for it now, where the British, um, because of HK and their SA80 rifle, they have the they have a brand new version of it with a new new. It might have been on the on the firearms blog. Actually, I think it was, um, new four new four grip, um, new color scheme. Oh, um, to the um for the SA eighty because HK is in charge of their program on that. Yeah, SA eighty upgrades. Yeah, I think um, I saw that. Uh, that poor rifle came out and it was a piece of. So was that was? From uh, what I understand, they're terrible. The first gen of those things are god awful. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. Here's so, the story um, right here. I, you know what? I was looking. I was looking up something just now, Kevin. When you were talking about the HK thing, did you talk about them not selling guns to Israel? Oh no, I was saying that the. I didn't know anything about them not selling guns to Israel. I don't know about that, mm -hmm. but when it came to the, um, the Saudis, they had about three thousand that were down. And this is what I'm being told. They had about three thousand that were down that they couldn't get service. And of course, their terrain's a little bit different, dust and sand and all that. Mm -hmm. So the guns probably going down, need to be. and um, the, they couldn't get them serviced apparently. So oh, okay, he contracted out, and the guy I was talking to owns a holdings group, and they got in there and started, you know, making aftermarket parts for it, you know, because they lost the patent, so they could yeah um, start mm -hmm. getting the guns back up and running, and then they uh, start remaking the entire gun. So uh, that holding group is now going to supply the Saudi government with five thousand MP5s. Yeah. Um, well. Cool. Not I mean, all, the, if you will. Uh, the pack, the pack I'm hoping those 3,000 they have, you didn't tell me what they were going to do with them the ones they got back uh, and running. Sur surplus. I, I, got his, I got his info, which I won't blast him out, you know, with every, you know, you got to keep some things behind the scenes. But um, if he's going, and I will keep you guys updated, if he's going to uh, get a few of those back, you know, maybe we surplus, can. Maybe make them into parts kits. I was going to say, if you can get me a parts kit, I will pay whatever. I'd be lucky. <laughs> so, I I mean, I, I feel when, when, baby for, when baby face starts getting like, I will pay whatever, yeah, you <laughs> you know, know what it costs. it's on. <laughs> the Pakistanis on. Make, make the MP5, and the Greeks make the MP5. If I'm oh, okay. You can also get the, the, the Turkish ones, too, the yeah, uh, Zenith. Yeah, Zenith. yeah all right, that's Not, what I was thinking, too, yeah. I've never yeah, shot a Zenith, but I was talking to Nawar. He told me he has two of them, and they run they run like a dream. I've never shot a Zenith. From, from what I understand, they're built on a lot of the tooling from HK, so they're right, basically right, right. exactly the same. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so um, now this thing I was going to tell you that's a little bit related to that, there was an article on the truth about guns. Heckler and Cock and – Sorry. <laughs> Let's get into that again. <laughs> oh, God, <sorry. laughs> oh man, Heckler and Coke, <laughs> or cock, or uh, Heckler's, whatever you Heckler's want. cock. Yeah, however Heckler's you want to cocks. say it. No more gun sales to Israel. So Germans firearms manufacturer Heckler and Cock recently let it be known they would no longer sell their firearms in some of the world's most questionable corners. Why the UK's Guardian reported the company has pledged to no longer sell arms into war zones or to countries that violate corruption and democracy standards, including Saudi Arabia, Israel, Egypt, and the United uh, Arab Emirates, Arab Turkey, Emirates, yeah. Ma uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, or any African countries. Hey, uh, <laughs> HK, HK, HK's got a, a self-inflicted death wish. Yeah, I um, think they, they want to just go under. What are they doing? So hold on, let me get this right. Now, in all seriousness, I know that HK's had a long-standing reputation for not servicing the average man, right? So <laughs> we're flipping, trying to change that around, trying to flip that around, and in the midst of doing that, you then start throwing off half of the world's military. Right. Yeah, I think they pretty much believe they have, here, here's what I think they have. I think they have the Coleon Noir and Kevin Dixie plan. <laughs> Because they think between the two of you super HK fans, they're going to sell all the HKs in the world. Man, that's a tough neighborhood we're in. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forego all that pressure on the war. I, I, I don't want that pressure. I, I mean, I, 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 I like them. I hate to see. I still want to know what happened to Wayne. I want to know why Wayne is not with them anymore. And I'm going to find out. But I, I don't no man, it's who knows. I don't, I don't know what to tell you, but um, and then you yeah, fire your CEO, you let go of some of your high VPs, you you get rid of your CEO, you start dropping off. 
I don't know. I would assume to at least be a third of yeah. the but, uh, all the yeah. Well, all those countries they listed there. Who the hell are they selling it to? France. Oh, I mean, and like, England and America. Yeah. That's it, right? Well, yeah, the well, French. How the many, French. How many HK? I mean, I know our military uses them, but they're not the not that many. The Marines want to switch over to the HK, if I'm not mistaken. Which HK? The um, one that looks like the 416, the latest version of that. The oh, latest 416. Version. I know some some special ops guys probably use that, but they use anything. They use whatever they want to. Look, yeah. I have a friend of I have a friend of mine that did uh, some special ops stuff, and he was also like in the CIA and all that. And I have a picture. I don't know. It's on my Facebook somewhere. Of <laughs> they would go on missions and buy these guns, and then on the way back, they would just throw them off the ship. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they get to use whatever they want. And, yeah, so they can do whatever they want to do. Yeah. And it was just like, uh, can you just imagine, like he has a picture of him just like tossing. I forgot what it was he was tossing like into the ocean. <laughs> I can't bring it back. He was tossing. Huh? He was tossing thousands of dollars. I'm sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, I mean, that's like, that's crazy news right there, man. So, yeah. Well, that's yeah. the world. You know, so that after you after the wall came down, HK, and, they've got they've got Kevin though. Kevin will keep them floating. Yeah. <laughs> and my friend, and 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 I know Colleen Noir loves his HK stuff. I know. I've seen it. I've seen mm -hmm. the you know. I've seen the conversations. You know. Yes. Yeah, they're okay. HK. They're they will keep it going. Yes. If if you want to throw me a couple thousand um, broken down MP5s. I'll be more than happy to figure it all out. No, I mean, seriously, wait, if I if I can figure this thing out, yeah, I can figure out any HK. I tell oh, you. your Walter, your video yesterday cut out too too early. We didn't get to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, I know it. I don't know why I did that. I didn't. I didn't do that on purpose. But um, where what I had done to it and stuff. Mm -hmm. I wanted yeah. to see exactly what you did to. It. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you? Um, I'll have to do it again. That's all. I've, yeah, I've got all okay. the parts and pieces still. Right, baby I, face. I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I need to put something up on YouTube too. So, yeah, um, give us a good rundown of that. We could talk about it here just now. Babyface, do you have your British story yet? Uh, British people. They have really bad teeth. Oh, <laughs> uh, you always joke about that. Uh, right now, you, you always joke about that. But when you're over there and you look around, they have really bad teeth. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. You know, Why is that a thing? Why they think we have some kind I, of. I, they think we have an affliction in America that we, you know, we care about our teeth. And anyone <laughs> in England the that has nice teeth, they think is trying to be they, an American. They have bad teeth. We have mind control via what you call it in our water. So and con and contrails. Yeah, and con chemtrails. That's it. Yeah, chemtrails. Yeah. Uh, what's it? Fluoride in the water. That's what. what that's what. Yeah, that's what oh boy. Yeah. I don't get why they have bad teeth though. Because they don't have fluoride in their water. Oh, because of the water? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I don't think it's that. They don't care about teeth that much. It's not a thing. <laughs> I don't need no stinking teeth. They don't have a tooth they, fetish. Like, don't, because people in Europe, like, kiss a lot, right? Don't they, like, do hey, it? Um, um, well, only, only the people in Europe? <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, that's the way, in some European countries, it's how you greet each other, you know? like right, right. What, by tongue kissing each other now? Yeah. Uh, oh, they're, no, they're, you know, they're using uh, tongue. <laughs> no, um, it's it's nice actually, question. like, foot licking. <laughs> so oh god! Oh, hey, by the way, okay. Mr. this Mr. is why this is why we mess up trying to get Patrick to do anything. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked at the BBC and I didn't see anything interesting. So no, I this is done. our fault. <laughs> just just come up with some kind of cool history or something like that on, on the all British. Right, That's all, right, all you got to do. <laughs> you don't have to get belligerent. <laughs> I found something on the on guns.com. The L85 British Bullpup, the last Enfield. Those things are cool. And that tells about what you were talking about with Tyvin on his show, the EM2, when mm -hmm. the Brits started developing the Bullpup idea. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I think it was originally um, a Polish dude and maybe even some Germans did some Bullpups, too. Is so. that, uh, hold on a second, what are you calling that, the L85? L85, yeah, that was before the current one. Yeah, did you see that in the museum when you were, I mean, look, with, with uh, you know, all kidding aside, you went to England, you went to yes, museums, and you were looking at tanks and guns, yeah, so you yeah, can tell yeah, us yeah. some, yeah, what did you well, see? There, there's all kinds of stuff there, I mean, you know, I mean, that was, that was last year, man, I don't remember everything, I'm an old guy, remember? <laughs> no, no, they got cool stuff, I mean, um, the Brits have messed with all this stuff. Now that's that nineteen. Like. Okay, so here's my thing. I'm gonna go to my thing while you guys are looking up stuff. So the L85, right. that's like 1950s, right? 
Enfield. Well, 19, 1950s ish. Yeah. Yeah. The the nineteen fifth the first ones were called the EM two. Yeah, but that's the grand. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm listening to you. But I'm just looking at the story on um. Because what, what I was going to bring up, my British thing that I was going to bring up is that the the earliest bullpup rifle actually goes back to 1901. Really? 1901 is a bolt action rifle. So really? it was called the Thornycroft Carbine. Oh, okay. And it was uh, one of the earliest bullpup rifles developed by an English gunsmith in 1901. See, it's this, the Brits, bolt man. Action, this bolt action featured a bullpup action in which the uh, retracted bolt slid back through the stock nearly to the shooter's shoulder, maximizing the space available in the body of the firearm. The rifle was chambered in the contemporary uh, 303 British service cartridge and held five rounds in an internal magazine. Cool. So it was uh, 7.5 inches, shorter and 10% lighter than the standard Lee Enfield rifle used by the British military at the time. Yeah. So, however, when tested at Hive, the firearm exhibited excessive recoil and poor ergonomics <laughs> and was not adopted for the military. So, you know, look up the Thornycroft carbine. That's so you're, you're the true Anglophile because of your bull prep heritage. <laughs> you try, try to put it off on me, huh? Yes, sir. I is. I yeah. is. Yeah. So, did you? I mean, you went to this museum. Did you see any well, really cool bullpups over there? I can't remember now. They, they at, if you're talking about in Leeds at the Royal Armories, a lot of the stuff out on display was old stuff. Um, you know, from all the different periods. Um, they had some cool military rifles out there too. Um, mm -hmm. but not as much as I would like to see as far as modern stuff goes. So, yeah. So well, do you have any British rifles in your collection? Um, um I, I have, mean, a, got, do you, you, you I have, have an Enfield. Enf I okay. have an Enfield. Um, oh, what? I used to have an L1A1, but I sold that. That's the, the what? <laughs> the like FAL. Oh, the British version of the FAL. Yeah. That's a really nice rifle. What is, too. what's the British version of the FAL? L1A1. <laughs> L1A1. L1. And you know, the sad part about the L1A1, when the Brits stopped using it, the L1A1s that the British used were all semi-automatic. Mm -hmm. They were not machine guns, but they all were destroyed. They were all cut up for um, as parts kits. They could have been imported, but because of our goofy ass laws, <laughs> none of them were imported. So that was kind of a waste. Um, what else? Like you said you have one of those or? I had one, but I sold it. I had that oh. years ago and I got rid of it. Okay. When I need when I need to pay the mortgage, I think. And which magazines did it use the regular FN FAL mags or? Um, yeah, yes, I believe it does. Yeah. Okay. Because if one of the guns you can use both inch and metric, and then one of them you can only use, I think metric. it's metric. Yeah, yeah. Metric. So, Pattern. if yeah. I'm not mistaken, yeah, I have an FAL um, which is based on a um, an M bell, um, the Brazilian M bell. Which is a licensed um, copy. Okay. Um, what else? I have a Webley Webley pistol or an Enfield, and I can Enfield Webley made That's by cool. Enfield. Is yeah. it revolvers? Yes. Somebody's looking in your uh, somebody's looking in your door back there. On you. Ah, uh, it's Spence. <laughs> what, yeah. What's up, Spence? He's like, where you at? Uh, hello, <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> oh, you can't hear you. Let's uh, say you that hear. again. Okay, hold on. You ready? Okay, hold on. You ready? Yeah. Spencer. Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna come in here, Spencer? You're just gonna hang out by the door. <laughs> He's like, I'm hang definitely not coming in now. As he slowly <laughs> closes the door. Back. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't like, think so. I don't think so. I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah. Put your headset on. Have you guys um, have you have you guys seen the crazy things that the Brits have to do to get pistols? Have to get the crazy long barrel and a for adding adding long barrels to and, them the, and the ridiculous like tube off the back is like a. Yeah. Did you have a link? Do you have a link? That's well, how they so can. They, so they can get pistols, but they, they have can to, get it. They can get a 1911 that way. It's just got yes. like a carbine link barrel and a stock. No, I want to see this. <laughs> Let me find one. Yeah, so I gotta do so, this. So uh, Wardex says, "Do British guns smell worse than ours?" <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what was that? <laughs> he said, "Do British guns smell worse than ours?" <laughs> so, <laughs> smell worse than ours? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. know. I don't know. They That's don't a good know. question. They have bad teeth. You know. Um, okay. 
Let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> it threw me off there. I, I lost my train of thought. The little bit of it, the, the little bit of it I had, I lost it. So, um, how long have we been doing this? Um, uh, at um, hour forty-five. Yeah, yeah, we're good. we're still good on time. Okay, okay, it's okay. just okay. almost ten o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, I'm, right. I'm not. It's not, I'm not going to turn into a pumpkin or anything, but um, you know. Yeah, that's probably why. That's probably why Spencer came to look for you. <laughs> no, no, he's yeah. like a. Even when he doesn't have to go to school, he still goes to bed yeah. like relatively early. Yeah, let's so. make sure everyone watching this right now clicks the thumbs up button. Come on, we've been entertaining um, uh, you. Give us that thumbs up button. Make sure you share um, this video. And look, you got to yeah, you got to give me a thumbs up for this now. Come on, <laughs> come on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And Lo the the real feat is that Lola went and fished us out of the safe. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. <laughs> that, was, that was a nice workout. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lola, here, put this back in the safe for me. You ought to do that with like two cans yeah, of just, ammo. Just put this walk back about a half a mile. That'll work. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I don't think so. Check, a, check like, the link. I take I it out. You put it back. No, I got it. Check the link I just put in chat, Hank. That's, oh, okay. uh, that's ruling on uh, British legal, UK legal pistols. Oh, okay. I mean, well, the revolver is ridiculous. Yeah, they, let's all take a look at this. It's hey, a, a sure Taurus 66 in 357 with a 12 inch barrel and a counterweight <laughs> in the back. <laughs> oh, come on. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's not a suppressor, I don't believe. That's just a shroud for the barrel. So it looks cooler. <laughs> it, it's a, Geo, a GSG 22, so it's not even a. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. So they just basically put a club on the back and make a longer barrel. Yeah. You put a counterweight on the back so it doesn't like dip on you so bad. And then you put a longer barrel this goes with it. to make it like the overall length requirement. It's, you know what? Me, th th here, Hank, you were asking yeah, me about see, here. That would be like extra super illegal, <laughs> right? No, you can totally have that. You just look retarded. Yeah, you can have that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah you can have, oh, that. You can have that here. Let's okay. go with, uh, with some retard mods on it. So yeah, what, just, does that do, what does that do to slow you down? <laughs> I mean, what, how well, does that like make you safer? Not, I don't get yeah, it. it. It brings it to their overall length requirement. It's not it's concealable. Solid. Oh, I, I guess. See. Okay. Yeah. I, I tell you what, I, what, when you go to England, like you go to the War and Peace show, and there's all the vendors selling deactivated guns, that'll make you cry. You see these breaded over and under shotguns with the barrels cut off and all plugged up, and you yep. see, you see uh, artillery Lugers with holes drilled in the barrel and all the action welded up, and I'm going, ah. I'm yeah, like, those are attack, you know? pieces. Yeah, What's yeah. That? What's the, uh, oh, God, it should be in a museum. <laughs> I mean, even things like Swiss, the Swiss pistols that you, they pay big bucks for here, you know, deactivated. They drill holes in the Enfield barrel, Enfield barrels. They drill like 15 holes in the barrels like you're going to patch it up or something, you know. It's just, and yeah. weld the actions up, you know, so. It's yeah. Just, so can you can you um, buy those over there? No, right? You, I mean, you, you, can't bring, you can't bring them here because the receiver's hole. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. It's so the receiver. We still consider it a gun. They don't. Right. Right here, the receiver is the bad part. Over there, mm -hmm. barrels and bolts are the bad part. Oh, okay. I mean, it honestly, can... it honestly makes a little more sense because that's the stuff that like it go yeah. bad. A receiver. Yeah, you can, I don't know. You can yeah. reactivate with those parts, mm -hmm. but they've gotten yeah. to the point where they weld them up now. You can't hardly even do that. So. Yeah. No, they they're they're for putting on a wall and looking at. They I mean, when you see a stack of PKMs. Or like sterlings and literally on the ground in a pile, yeah. all welded up. It's like, ah, you know, like, oh well, that's the way it goes. Yeah, it's a tragedy. I mean, if you want to, but that's all we get. Did you throw up any photos of that when you were over in England? Um, I have them. I have to dig through my photos and and bring them out. But he threw up gang signs. Everybody was scared of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, when I saw those over and under shotguns all cut up, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> And they do them like ghetto guns too, where they take like yeah. a hacksaw and just—I guess they want that look. So they well, just hack, and, yeah, they just and hack so, them off, you know. And it's like, oh, I think the guy, the, the guy, the vendor goes, "Yeah, I know, I know." It's like, oh god. But and and some of those are probably really valuable. Has anyone ever oh, seen? Yeah. yeah, has anyone ever seen Lock, Stock, and Smoking Barrels? <laughs> Lock, Stock. Anyone ever seen that movie? It's a Guy Ritchie movie. Really good. Do you guys? Do you? Are you aware of Guy Ritchie as a director? I know who he is. But. You know, you probably heard that he was married to Madonna, but uh, before Madonna oh. came along and totally fucked him up, uh, <laughs> he was a director. <laughs> They're not married anymore, so. No, no, that's all yeah. long gone. Yeah, 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 he's back to making movies, but. They're fighting uh, yeah. over their, their kid. Yeah. Yeah, he made this really good movie that you should see. It's got it's called Lock, Stock, and Smoking Barrels, and it's one of the early movies with Jason Statham. Guy Ritchie is the reason that Jason Statham became famous. 
Okay. Um, okay. You know, he put him in movies and, and things like that. So um, that's a really cool movie for you to watch. And it's basically about, um, I think, is it a side by side or over under shot? It's about this shotgun that these guys are just using for to commit crimes, but it's worth hundreds of thousands of pounds. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, what was it? I, I saw there was a story about something very similar to that where this this guy over there, it was either he didn't deactivate it or he could have got it deactivated, and but he didn't and ended up being destroyed anyways. And it's just these just weird stories with the Brits, you know. It's yeah, Mister Something. British shotguns. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to shot. I'm gonna stop talking. No, no, you, you go. Okay, dead air is the worst thing in the whole world. <laughs> ah, <stop. laughs> no, it's finish, finish with your thought. No, I'm just saying, you see these poor over and under shotguns, probably $1,000, $1,200 shotguns with the barrels cut off and the socks cut off too, made them like pistols. Uh, and it's like, oh, but that's all they can do. Yeah, you know what I don't understand? Why wouldn't they just make a thing like, let's sell these to the Americans? <laughs> we'll buy them. You know, like, instead of destroying them, oh, I know why they would Cut the receiver that. and sell it as a parts kit. You'll yeah, make that. I, I kind of asked about that, too, and they get decent money for a welded-up Luger over there. So That's crazy talk. To them, it's more money just to sell it there than it is to go to all that trouble to yeah. export it. So The yeah. only thing I would want with the whole thing like that, I mean, I... Like you said, they won't let you bring it here, but that would make a nice uh, table thing, you know? Well, the, like all the these Luger, guns, like if you can get all these guns in a block, that'll be a nice, you know, Luger's, I don't like the fact that they destroyed it. No, I don't like that. But that'll be a cool little piece, like to put some glass on, you know, with all these little gun parts in there and everything. They that'd get, be cool. They get more money for a welded up Bren gun deactivated than they do as cut up for a parts kit to bring here. So that's why they do it. Yeah. You know. oh, okay. How are you gonna do with the money? Where the money's at? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, let's say it. Yeah. Some gun says Iraq. Uh, Iraq veteran had a, a Brit explaining about the rules on, on one of his videos. Yeah, I know that guy that he's talking about. I'm trying to remember that guy's name. If it was Richard, he's a really cool guy. He comes from England every year to go to the NRA show. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he collects patches and stuff like that. I gave him um, my patch and your patch, Walter. Oh, and he cool, has this cool. big jacket. He has like this green flat oh, okay. jacket kind of thing, and he's got all these patches all over it. If anyone's looking at that, that's a really cool guy. Um, that you know, that's one of those Brits that loves America so much. I think he's trying to get his. Um, he's trying to get the paperwork and everything put together to come here, and I think he's been trying to do that for years. Oh. You know, just so he can actually le legally get guns. But he's a really, um, he's a really cool guy, and that is a nice video for anyone out there who wants to check it out. It's on an IV eighty eight eighty eight. Uh, channel good video okay. to okay. see how it is to live not free <laughs> <laughs> you know you know and, and they can have shotguns like for hunting and stuff like that but you got to go jump through a lot of hoops to get that stuff so and then it's still slippery because all they're going to do is turn into um what's that that point the place that australia i mean you know <laughs> you used to be able to do it there and all of a sudden you got you can read the stories about the people down there that actually got uh one guy got sent to prison for shooting uh, a home intruder, a home invader, um, the second or third time he broke in the house. Australia, <laughs> Australia is so yeah, it's just screwed up. It's it's the the second shot. time he broke in, yeah, he was break, <laughs> broke into the guy's house, and he, you know this guy lived in like a farm, so it's you know it's nothing around him. Mm -hmm. It was the guy second or third time breaking in his house while he was there, and he was like, "Well, I'm not getting beat up again. I'm not going to be beat up and hogtied in my own kitchen." Mm -hmm. You know, so he used his shotgun, I believe, yeah. to defend himself. And they said, nope, that's not why you had it. You know, he was only had one of those really, really restricted guns. Nope, yeah. that wasn't the purpose of it. So you go to prison. Ain't something in prison. Wow. Um, Kyle L says he loves that movie, Lock, Stock, and Smoking Barrels. I can't believe you guys have never seen that. I've heard the, no. the title. I never watched it. No. Yeah. I mean, you, Babyface, I, I understand. You were born in the in the late 90s. I get it. But, uh, you know, Walter and Kevin, I don't get it. I understand. I was born in 80, no, I, 80, 80, uh, 89. 89, sure. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So, okay. Uh, what other gun right. porn do we have going on here? What can we show? I don't know. Um, I did. I did. This is not, so it's not as extravagant as those British guns, but um, I know last time we had talked about, I was telling guys about uh, getting the Halo Sun, and I promised to bring it. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, there, there you go. go. Is that the ACSS one? No, this is the um, the the five one five C. 
the but I will pull it out the box because you might that? The the so, so I'm horrible with model numbers. If it wasn't on the box, I'll forget it. Uh, but no, that's the wrong. That's the solar one. Yeah, yeah, turn it turn it to the side. Okay. Cool. What's the reticle look like? Yeah, show us the. Uh, is it on? Do, 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 do. It's gonna be kind of hard to see. I don't know if it might be really faint. I don't know if you can see. I can see. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, cool. Speaking of those kind of stuff. Here's the thing about that. I the the battery in here because it's been up on a shelf for I don't know how many years and it's been in the dark. So the battery in this thing is officially dead. That light you just guys just saw. You saw me pull it out the box, right? Yeah. That light is strictly from the lights in this room. That just that's, happened. Like that's charged really cool. up and gave you some uh, and gave you a, a reticle. So mm -hmm. I know it's kind of Hollow Sun had it's, Hollow Sun is where it's at for affordable optics. Hollow Sun and primary arms. Those are the ones that Yeah, and they're basically like uh very close to being the same thing and yeah, we, actually the primary yeah. Arms works with Holosun for a lot of their optics. Don't yeah, they? and a really cool one is the ACSS uh, reticled Holosun. So that actually has the ACSS reticle that you can use to range. And I've shot that. I've shot that at three hundred and six hundred yards hitting steel. Let with me see a magnifier. I, so let me see if I can do this for you guys just to show them. So right now, I'm going to cover this thing up with my hand, right? So the, the solar can't get any light. Okay. So mm -hmm. you don't see any dot, right? Yeah. Dot. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm just going to put light on it, charge it up, and see if you can see dot, it. man. Dot. Yeah, it was there. Yeah, it's just, that, just that quick. I mean, yeah, this thing is, is awesome. That's, that's cool. Awesome. No, that's pretty cool. And uh, for anyone who's interested, like in primary arms optics, I'm going to take this opportunity in the description. Yeah, in the description, we have a list of a bunch of uh, a bunch of affiliate links. So if you want a way, a cool way to help out the Hank Strain situation, click on those links. And those optics, you get free shipping plus either the mount or the scopes that come along with them. And there's there's quite right. a few. Let me let me let me ask you guys a question. Sure. The, the Vortex Spark. What do, do you know about that? Do it. All right. Here's the deal. Right now, on Palmetto State Armory, not trying to whack anybody else's deals. They got for one ninety nine, you get that sight plus you get ten Magpul thirty round mags for one ninety nine. Do That's it. insane. <laughs> Do it yesterday. It's That's worth real. it. Just it's worth it for the so what magazines? Ten round, Ten. P, thirty round P mags. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> so when you when you not That's a deal. The price they're kind of giving you the optic for a hundred bucks in the yeah, mag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a hundred dollar optic. That's dope. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so I didn't I didn't know if that was a good side or not. So. Yeah, the, the Vortex Spark is what I had. Yeah, it's not you know Vortex uh, can't knock Vortex. They they'll cover it forever and all that kind of stuff. Wow. Uh, we've got some deal. sparks, right, baby face? We got some. Uh, yeah, sparks. you have a spark up in the, yeah. in the closet up there. Hello. Yeah. So, and the, the P oh, mag, really? you know, ten twelve dollars a piece. So I guess yeah, yeah. that's a hundred dollar yeah. optic. It's not hey, bad. that's a good deal. And uh, can you just let folks know where you got that deal again? So that was on Palmetto State Armory's website. So PSA hitting them up with the deals. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, I get it. Are we interrupting you, Kevin? No, no, no. I apologize. <laughs> since I was called a liar. Uh, got much love for you guys, but that was my uh, son. Him and his date at the dance are ready to be oh, picked up. Oh, they are ready. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yes. I, I understand. Have to up. I don't want you know bleachers coming into the picture and none of that mess. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get them. Yes, go get them. I understand. Thanks for joining us. We'll. Yeah, I won't be yeah, here yeah. next week, but we'll see you the week after that. All right, guys. You guys be peaceful. I appreciate it. All right. Peace. All right, guys. So, yeah. yeah. So I think we should start wrapping up here um, at this point anyway, since it's just back to the three of us. Uh, oh, dear. Yeah. What? Um, okay. What start other... talking about dicks. Get ready. Oh, boy. I could pull out my bag of balls. You pull but... out your... <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what was, was the bag, bag, of... bag of balls about? I didn't. I wasn't um, listening. Oh, I, this is what I'm going to use from now on to test the volume that when we're testing these bags that we're getting in, we will use oh, this oh, to, okay. to show people how, like, what kind of volume do those How bags many have. balls you can get in the bag? How yeah, many how many balls, balls <laughs> fit? In yeah, the bag. how many of my balls can get into a bag? We will do that as a as a visual aid. And then, and then Hank will carry his balls around on his back. Yeah, and and you know, and and just in case things go badly, we have, um, you know, backup, um, you know, backup balls. Backup balls. Yeah, we got backup balls. So you don't believe me, but it's actually another. And I'm not showing you just like the same bag. It's another. 
We got multiple balls. More, more balls. So where'd you get those? A dollar store or something? Where'd you get these them? are like uh, these are like you know when you see those kids. Um, oh, in the big pit of in balls. The play balls. Yeah, these are play balls. Yeah. yeah. Okay. For the kids, you know. Okay. All you right. Put in the thing if you want to have one of those play ball pits. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So there you go. So that's something we're, we're going to be testing. I'm going to bring on some different bags and and do some stuff like that. So we'll be. So now we have uh, explained that. The balls. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. We might need extra bags of balls. Joe Carpenter says, wow, two ball bags. <laughs> <laughs> two ball sacks. There you go. <laughs> Marky Mark says, Hank's got his ball ballistic ball. <laughs> loop, loop. Said, right, ballistic bag back out. <laughs> the delicious ball sack yeah. bag. No, Toil toilet balls for more decks. <laughs> Death by Dildo was a scene. Oh, that was. Uh, Some gun right. says the bags are good for duracoding patterns. Oh, that's, that's a good. That's a good. Oh one. yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 DC two Mega Boost says don't get your balls in a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Over there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Dead Ender says there we go again. Full bar. Orange bar. <laughs> full bar. Um, full bar. Full bar. Yeah. yeah Ken yeah. Helm says are those lubricious? Of course they are. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. um, Lights out 183 said Hank had two handfuls of balls. <laughs> <laughs> Eric left Garcia sack says, right sack. Yeah. Left Eric, sack, right sack. Yeah, Eric Garcia says, left sack, right sack. <laughs> we could, this could go on and on. And oh, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should cut it off. We should cut it off. It's Friday. <laughs> We gotta let cut them go. cut that ball sack off there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got enough with the balls. No more ball talk here. <laughs> no balls for you. And the, you know what? This is not gonna be a good segment. <laughs> Last fifteen right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is not gonna be a good segment. Okay, so Patrick, what do you have going on? I think you're uh, coming you're coming over. So bad oh. news. Uh, Amazon screwed me. They didn't get my thing delivered today like they said they were going to, so we don't have the camera hookup. Okay, we're but, gonna, uh, we're gonna have make to do it, it old school. We'll do it old school and I'll make it next week. It comes what in. Do you got? I just pulled the trigger on a vortex and ten mags. So awesome. Um I, nice. I have dibs on the ten mags. Oh, <laughs> listen to you. Listen to you. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I will tell you what. Um Tyvin's gonna <laughs> need them because Tyvin doesn't have like extra mags. I can't believe that. I'd like to I take Tyvin. Go on and get it. Yeah. I almost take time on an elect mo but bag loading competition. Okay, hey, you know, right now he has the championship. Tyvin has the championship. If Hand you want to challenge magazine. the king, if you want to challenge anyone who wants to challenge the king is welcome to be on Walter, the show. How much did you say it was for these? One ninety nine for ten mags and one one one. Oh, vortex. that's two. That's two hundred bucks. Yeah, two hundred dollars. This, this one here is a Vortex Strike Two with ten mags for one eighty from the from Palmetto. Palm uh, what's the difference between the one and the two? I don't know the strike. What's the one that you're looking at? Spark? AR? Oh, it's the spark and the strike. The strike, I think, is the big one. The spark is the uh, the little micro, I believe. The small one. Well, yeah, yeah, 1X red dot. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So for 20 bucks, you can, for $20 more, you get the little micro, or for $20 less, you get the regular, like, aim point size. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go for the Not small bad. one. I've never had one. That's so. a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah, with those ten mags, I mean, come on. Yeah, that's you know, you can't go wrong by having extra. Mag I buy, I buy magazines whenever. Yeah, I can. yeah. So the spark is a little micro red dot. Yeah, exhale okay. says he wishes he could have thirty round mags. I guess he's not living in a free state. Uh, probably not. No. I got a bunch over here if you want one. Hey, you know when I was talking about the, about the Canadian um. M1A up there. They Patrick could only is going to show his 30 rounders. <laughs> uh, got, some of us, we got 40 rounders in the free state. Hey, uh, screw go. that. We got 100, 120 rounders. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, speaking of that. He's, speaking in, of New York. He's in New York. He's in New York. Yeah, in New York. Yeah, I got you. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> I got you 30 rounds right here. Yeah, I got you in New York right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. Uh, Ken Helmers wants to know if those mags will fit his Henry. Oh, okay, I'll think so. <laughs> yeah, look what I found. And lights out fills his pain. Okay, uh, this we got a video of that. Actually, yeah. I got it. I was planning on editing oh. it tonight and putting it up. Oh, who has that video? There you go. There you go. There's something coming out. Check out my YouTube channel. I actually posted a video the other day. Oh, oh right. Of this, of this gun? No, of the Chris Vector machine gun. But oh. I am gonna edit the uh, the one of the suppressor shooting tonight, and I'll post it up. I was thinking about this poor little guy when we were hammering it with that suppressor, because mm -hmm. it had to be hammering this thing with 
with a can on, right? I mean, it puts more pressure back on everything when it probably which suppressor, it which suppressor did we put on there? I can't it's even remember. The, uh, the Octane Nine. Yeah, oh, so that okay. thing—that's not a real tight fitting. What we should do is put the uh, that little tiny one that we have. What, Hank, what's the little tiny one? The um, oh man, the machine Poseidon. We should stick that on there because it's like it's like that big. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be right cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that I thing should... ran, that thing ran well for for how old it is. Yeah. Oh yeah, it works fine. And considering I fixed it, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it's got a brand new barrel and a brand new magazine and. A lot of brand new parts, so no, it worked fine. Yeah. I like it, and it's got a really nice trigger. That's what I was really surprised about. This thing yeah. is like, you don't have to yeah. squeeze it and it goes off. So no, it was that's a nice little piece, man. I think you got a nice gun there, you know. Yeah. And thanks to uh, Babyface who fixed it up, and and Babyface has a bunch of videos on that for anyone who yes, wants to see. Yeah, we got to we'll yeah. shoot it some more. So yeah. So what do you have going on, Walter? Actually, this weekend I don't have a whole lot of anything going on, which that's is nice. Thing. That's a good sometimes. Um, take take this weekend off. You can have all of next week off. You two. I'm gonna go to. The, I'm going to the shop tomorrow because I got to get ready for the creek coming up. Um, so I need to make some stuff that I take that I sell, stent tubes and stuff like that. Okay. Wait, you're gonna be at the, the creek soon? Pardon me. When is the creek? When's the next creek shoot? Um, that is October, I believe, uh, 11, 12, something like that. Ah, damn it, Walter. <laughs> I need an MP5 parts kit. <laughs> <laughs> and I need it now. <laughs> damn it. I thought it was going to be like six months from now. <laughs> well, oh, no, no. Well, I've got you covered. I'll take care of you. Don't worry. Yeah. If you, if if you, you come see across one, something, let me know I, and, I always have. Well, I won't say I always have. Oh, I'll take care of you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> if yeah, you we'll, see something, let me know. I'll, I'll pull some cash out. I, yeah. Well, I, I always have. I'm usually pretty. Can you do some horse trading for me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, just, pretty, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty lubricious at the shows. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty flush yeah. when I'm here. So yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. If you see one there, let me know. Yeah, and if you yeah. see any cool, you know, uh, bull pups, don't forget about me while you're, you know. If you see an L85 or something like that, a British L85. Oh, yeah, or, that'd be cool. Yeah. I think you need to order an airsoft one. Maybe a lot faster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, next week. Now, hold on. Let me uh, let me do roll call to everyone who's still hanging out with us in the thing. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah. I think I missed in the roll call. Michael Smith, uh, Ron Va Van Fusen from Georgia, Rod Mills, of course, Joe Carpenter, Ken Helmers. But um, so for everyone, next week I won't be here, but we will be putting up videos. So you want to help us out when we put up those videos? Please share them, watch them comment thumbs up them and all that kind of good stuff we appreciate that i'm gonna be off with uh brownells on some kind of like crazy adventure with brownells i don't even know i don't even know what i'm gonna be doing i'll put it to you that way but i will i will be reporting back somehow and doing video and putting up oh so get a chance while you're out on the road we should uh do a mobile uh you know you got that a fancy iphone 7 right yeah yeah i'll, I'll check in with you guys when i can roger yeah, roger on a mobile a mobile thing yeah, yeah. we'll do we'll do a, a quick check-in and all that kind of stuff so um so what is it who's asking someone i think wardex is asking if lola's gonna host no lola's taking the week off <laughs> she's just, probably she needs, needs not being around to, yeah she needs some time to, off yeah <laughs> so she's like so she's saying don't try to make her do anything <laughs> you know she's not trying to do anything during that she's time missing, well she's gonna be working of course so she's got work to do all right, so you know what? I want to thank everyone that's in the Hangouts, everyone that's been watching, everyone that's been sharing it. I appreciate it. We want to thank the folks that uh, sponsor us, uh, Safety Harbor Firearms, of course, uh, Rand CLP, and uh, Andrew's Custom Leather, Big Daddy Guns, these Big dudes Daddy. who provide the studio and all that kind of good stuff. And, of course, we want to thank the people that's, that um, are patrons of ours, Patreons. On Patreon, we are Patreons. I just said that three times. Slash Hank Strange. <laughs> wow. So thank you for the support. We really appreciate it. Um, I want to thank, of course, we want to thank the Tyvin Show, Kevin Dixie, Tyvin. Babyface P, Walter Keller, everyone for being here on the show, and you. It's been fun. Okay, dudes, let's throw up the peace signs. Peace. We are out. Peace of this. <laughs>